Yo, it is it is the midnight shift here at uh, TWC headquarters. It is indeed 1 a.m. in Europe. Um, anyways, we we got PCB lunatic scoring now. You know we've had extra, we've ha we've had phantasm, um, or have we had extra? I don't remember. I don't remember the schedule. Uh, we've we've had survival anyway, so now it's time for lunatic scoring. Yeah. So um, uh, are you are you are you there? Yeah, yeah. I need to put. Don't fall asleep on the clock. Don't <laughs> worry. Uh, so um, uh, we got we got uh, we got our two players as per usual, right? Uh, what can we say about the players? Not much. All right. All right. Roll credits. No. Um, playing for Team Star, we have Victor in. Um, he's been he's been around for a while actually, but um, and like he he's a PCB enthusiast. Um, however, his main focus has been just like looking at and developing strats and all that. But um, it was only recently when he actually. Like, got off his ass and started doing credits, because uh, Yusuke decided to play Phantasm this year. So he, he kind of he joined, joined the TWC, did some credits, and apparently he has 3.1 with Rain B, which is... I did... I kind of did not expect Rain to get so quickly. But, uh, yeah, that's Victor in. He, he commentated last year. Everyone likes Ictor in here. Quite active in, T in TRC. Alright. Team Sunny, we have Spo or SP0 or Spots, whichever you prefer. Um, he's been a big deal for a while. He's, he's had second place since like forever in terms of score. So, yeah, that's. Uh, He's also he's also played in every match since uh, 2021, and he's won two of them. He won in 2021 and 2023 against Youthgay of all people. So yeah, just really consistent player, really really high level, pretty big deal. So yeah, that's the that's the players. Um, so, we also got the usual formalities to go through. There we go. The whole World Cup. It's, uh, it's of course the annual international tournament featuring the Total Project shoot 'em ups Um, we're doing Lunatic scoring today, but there's also, you know, in within Lunatic there's also no bond. And, uh... There's also scoring with an extra. In today's case, we have lunatic scoring. And of course, we have a website with lots of cool stuff there. There's a TWC score calculator and, you know, the live schedule and all that. So definitely have a look at it. Okay. Uh, we have we have two hours exactly today uh, for uh, runs. And um, this is this is just because PCB is a long game. The, although the timer used to be longer than this. Um, that's it. That said, um, what they what the players are gonna compete for is TWC score, um, and basically TWC score just balances the shot type differences together, so that we can sort of uh, es essentially. Uh, essentially so that the strength of the actual run is measured and that's what they're competing for. Higher is better. 
Okay. Scoring mechanics. We got uh, we got the usual point items. We also have SCBs and uh, and uh, border bonuses though. Point items are pretty obvious. Every game has them. Uh, essentially, we have we have some value they are worth, and um, that will not, that will change throughout the game. But uh, these these are what gives the most score. But on top of that, we also have the border bonus. Essentially, you just time out a supernatural border and it gives you a score bonus that's worth 10 point items. And that core bonus, pretty obvious too. Okay, what's Piv? Uh, in, the, in this case, Piv is Cherry. Um, so in the in the lower left corner of the screen, you'll have you'll have the that counter, the Cherry. You got some number out of some big number with the pink plus whatever on top. So the pink number is Cherry plus. When it reaches fifty thousand, the border is activated, and um, yeah, that's, that's usually what they want to try and control. Um, but we'll get into cherry management later. Um, the cherry is your actual piv. Um, so that's how much one point item is worth. What's really interesting though is the cherry max, because uh, every game has a piv cap, but um, in this case it's more, more like a soft cap. Essentially, and essentially the cherry max is the soft cap. It it is a it is a cap, but it can be be like increased, and you do that by getting border bonuses or racing with a border active. And these are our graphs. Um, we see that Sakya B is by far the strongest shot, so she has the least steep graph, followed by Rainbow B, which is kind of the baseline shot that all the other shots are like, sort of based off of. Although, um, uh, Reimu B can activate more borders than than all of the other baseline shots, so, um, uh, and, like, she's overall also, like, easier to play, so she's shifted to the right in the graph. All the other shots are, you know, bunched up uh, behind those two. Sakya B is a special case, but uh, we'll see if we actually get to witness Sakya B. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's what we're looking at. Are you are you are you excited? Yeah, I'd say so. I mm, I'm curious to see. Shot types they're going to use. We can already see that SPO seems to be using it the same way. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually saw, I actually um, uh, saw a conversation with him in some in a secret Discord server. But like, uh, I think, I think Street was telling Spo that that he will fall asleep if if he uses Rainbow A. Well, uh, I saw that he got the world record uh, runway, so I was expecting him to use it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, Ecterion opting for Rainbow B. Yeah. So we won't see Sapphire B, uh, I guess. Uh. Well, okay, so Sapphire B has a few special mechanics, but. Um, if we if we aren't gonna see her, then there's no point going through them. So we can yeah. just focus on the baseline essentially. All right, what's this? Uh, what's this chat say? KVPS. Let me just wait for the resolution to reestablish. 20k frost column to the first one that reached. Uh, That reached what now? The resolution's too low, I can't read this. Yeah. Same. You are now worthy to get 2.5. What about people who didn't get. <laughs> Noobs! Oh dear. Street just indirectly calling me a, calling me a noob because uh, 
My first 2.5 had 19,700 something. I am indeed not a super. I fucking love frost columns. Yeah, the timer has already started actually. Let's see how long they actually spend in the uh, th track today. Our two players also seem to be um, uh, also seem to be no BGM fans, BGM off fans, as uh, as opposed to BGM BGM on enjoyers like me. Before final run, then then they will both record. Sounds about right. Um, all right, one minute in, and um, Icterin is still uh, is still practicing the infamous uh, Letty table turning. Essentially, it's a switch to frost columns. All right, interesting, interesting. All right, let's see, let's see let's see what he what he's made on on made up of on uh, frost columns. If he if he get if he gets a uh, if he gets an activation that is damn that would have been ten k well twenty k. Alright, 21k there. This is this is fine. I am I'm using this as an excuse to um, uh, study the ways of the of the frost columns. Mm. It but it looks like he's just kind of shooting until it activates and not going for a specific timing. Which I mean. With the with the route that he's probably going for, that's probably what you have to do anyway. Yout. Um. PC the PCB players, of course. Um. The, the PCB players, of course, um, doing what they do best and never doing credits. <laughs> Alright. Victorin's background is uh, a screenshot from, uh, from RB. Alright, doing the... Doing the uh, doing the setup with, with the um, uh, replay to s to get a specific item table. All right, with that with that ta tangent out of the way, we got ourselves a, cr a, a, a credit now.
Um, I just I just looked that Spo screen out of um, fucking instinct by the way because he's playing stage five. Still still in practice credit by the way. Why am I not surprised? Uh, okay. Anyways, with the, with that hand out of the way, um, you saw you saw Ikterin maybe going for cancels or a cancel on Cherno. That's because um, cancels give Cherry. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, that run. Anyways, um, let's try that again. Uh, as with uh, as with any credit, um, you should you should start by standing still for thirty seconds. Absolute best intro to, to possibly have in any Toho game. Standing still for 30 seconds in the middle of the screen. Automatically get items. Okay. This is a bomb for items. He's also making sure to like collect every every power and cherry item that he can. Because uh, he needs that for the route. Otherwise he would Otherwise he would have to bond mid-boss here now. Specifically this mid-non. But with that he can save a bond. And still have enough uh, Cherry Plus to activate this border. So, um, uh, as I said, bullet cancels, give star items, and a, and a star item is uh, 20 Cherry Plus. He sets him up for... Good stuff, good stuff. Spo playing as Raymond A can't stand still for 30 seconds, which is very sad. Or is he? Alright, he had to escape. Uh, to, to answer the voices in our heads, the answer is yes. Uh, Letty. What can we say about Letty? What can we say about Letty? So I guess a few things we can say is first you can misdirect her first mod, which is pretty useful. This, I would say that this spell is um, one of the one of the first like little minor examples of uh, cherry plus management because like you you wanna you wanna go in and activate it at a very specific timing but um, there is some variance in how much cherry plus you have going into it so you may have to shoot more or less depending on the situation. In that si situation, he had to shoot more, so... Yeah. Can we talk about okay. the full power cancel right here? Sure. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to so, go right. <laughs> so, um, when, when you gain full power, all remaining power items on screen turn into cherry items. What um, about the bullets? The, bu the bullets turn into regular old star items. So we'll again too. Yep, Sorry. we just saw a corner bomb, we're gonna see another one right here. So he goes as far away from the star items as possible, because during a bomb, star items don't really increase your cherry plus that much. Yeah, they're worth like five when a bomb is active. Yep. Nice setup. And perfect. Yeah, this is this is the infamous uh Kana table turning. Eighty four K on stage one is pretty high. Yep. You, you should be able to get more with Kana Table Turning, if I remember correctly. Gotta play safe for the first run. Fair. So when is the cancel time for this? 
uh, when the when the just, uh, as about uh, as he's about to go down um, that way. <laughs> I, I usually I usually time it to when the uh, during the double wave the uh, two lasers at the front meet. That's when I that's when I usually time it, but there is some variance there. So you mentioned about uh, cherry management. Is that an issue at the start of stage two? Yes, it I is. feel like the major point where cherry is an issue is the start of stage two. This part yeah. is really difficult. Yeah, you so. Essentially, you have to pay attention to your to your cherry plus here, and depend depending on how much you have, you either like um, I don't know. You you either you either focus more or less. You can see them spamming shift a lot. All right, let's see. They're they are good. Oh, they go left to right. From thirty eight to. 43, hmm. 38 to 44. So, I'd, I'd say maybe 55-ish. Mm -hmm. Which is... Uh, uh, okay, For Rainbow I Lens, guess. Day, it's good, yeah. Especially when you're playing safe. Sure. Uh. Oh yeah, so during the... When the spell card starts, the boss doesn't take damage, but you can still shoot, so you can get a lot of Cherry Plus right here. So you see yep. the number just keeps going up. Yep. In addition, he's shotgunning to to get even more C plus from it. Speaking of shooting to get C plus, we know that uh, Rimu B gets C plus at a faster rate than let's say Sakya B from last year's CWC. But what about yep. Rainbow B and Rainbow A? Because right now SP Zero is using Rainbow A. Do they have the so, same game? Mm -hmm. So um, uh, per so like. Rainbow, Rainbow A is gains it much slower, and uh, and per unit per unit of damage though I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that's lower too. Mm -hmm. So if they completely uh, deplete a health bar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember testing something like that about how much damage uh, she does compared to how much cherry plus she gains. Uh, yeah, she should gain less than Rainbow B even with that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so um, uh, I'm expecting two border gem for Ichter in here. That's that's at least the what his score tier would suggest that he go for. So two border gem is essentially, as opposed to one border gem, where you essentially you want to use a bomb here <laughs> in order to cancel that wave, and that's that sets up your. C plus to uh, to get a border on first spell. I forget its name. Get the nice cancel. Shotgun. 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 And uh, shoot until it activates. Nice. And get the border. Wait it out. Yep. Did we talk about how grazing increases the spell card bonus? Um. No, but that becomes it, more important later. Later on, I would so say. bring it up later. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, at the start, when you were talking about the six shot types and how much score they get and how much TWC score they get, unfortunately, Rainbow A was missing. So does Rainbow A get more TWC score or less TWC score compared to Rainbow B? Because for some reason that was just missing, and unfortunately, SB Zero is using it. I, th I think she. I think she might be overlapping with someone. But mm -hmm. um, Saku, she should be overlapping with Sekuya yeah, but she gains ah. more TWC points than Rainbow B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wicker shot, uh, like, you just, you just can't get the same number of borders with Rainbow A as opposed to Rainbow B, so... Unfortunately. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we're gonna she, get a border here. That, mean, that means she has a stupid graph, that's all. Mm -hmm. So on the spell, you see like this white line following Chen. That's actually a laser, which you can spawn graze, which is why you see them kind of like hugging the boss. We're gonna go straight up here to graze the laser before it despawns. Uh, doing this, learning this is fairly difficult in my experience. 
is one of the things that new players try, but you try advising them not to do this because it's not worth it that early. It's too difficult. Yeah. So what is the best cancel time? You can see the health bar is close to zero right now, so the cancel is coming up. I don't know. It's. I feel like I feel like it kind of depends. It it's, doesn't seem like it matters much, but um, best cancel timing for that is pro is I guess you know when Ikarin did it. So mm -hmm. at the at the end of her movement, it should be because right it's the yeah. biggest cancel, and mm -hmm. helps to get the border for the final. All right. But so he didn't get the border. He's skipping so the border. He's, it seems yeah. Assuming he's, there's a border to begin with, but yeah. He's, oh, he's doing, he he's doing the, these. So he's doing this super. The, start of the, stage. the super precise route where um, uh, where you don't suicide and uh, you and you like go into stage stage three with. Mm, well, is he, this enough cherry plus? Uh, maybe. One two three. Uh, okay, he has to shoot okay, the shield. Okay, Okay. Yeah, late I activation, forget, but it's fine. <laughs> I forget it's not as strict as with Sakya B, where you want to get two borders here after the bombs. Yeah. I mean, as, lo as long as you get that first border, like, it's okay. Uh, preferably it should have been, like, earlier, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, he still, he still got it, and still got to do some circle racing, so... So there was a question good. in chat about if grazing a laser is more profitable compared to grazing a bullet. And then so, someone mentioned that. Oh, go ahead. So like the th the thing with lasers is they they are essentially they are essentially bullets that you can like graze infinitely, kind of low case style. Uh, the thing with like white Kirby lasers specifically though is that they are like they behave like several bullets overlapping at once. So um. Uh, Grazing a, a white curvy laser gives an absolute ton. It's like 10 grace per cycle or some like ridiculous like that. Another thing in PCB is that there's this thing called graze delay, which means that when a bullet spawns, you can't actually graze it for a few frames. Meanwhile, this doesn't exist with lasers. So if you can like spawn graze a curvy laser, you're getting a lot of graze. All right, Bunraku. Bunraku is cancer. But es essentially what you do is you wade through the random red bullshit and and like try to get as many chair items as you can because um, mm -hmm. that allows you to gain a border on it. This I believe Just... is the first spell in the game where enemies spawn that drop items. So during the spell card you can kind of kill as many enemies as possible to grab those items. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's also required to get like the maximum number of borders. So like essentially you want you want border on Bunraku and you want border on this section right after because this section has tons of items and a border magnets items to you. Imagine has max having, value. Imagine having to manually collect these items, just get a border. Yeah. You can also do some nifty graces with it. Mm -hmm. uh, su suicide suicide there to to intentionally set up his cherry because as we said in stage one, I hope, I think we did. You did. All remaining all remaining power items turn into cherry items. Yep. You did. Good. Alright, so opinion on this boss fight. I say it's pretty hard. <laughs> I um I have uh, I have affectional I have affectionately named Alice Ariskasu. Nice. All right, nice. And how much is that? Oh, I missed it. It's six twenty-five. But what was it beforehand? I d I didn't catch it. Oh, we'll get it next time. It comes back on a different. But yeah, that yeah, that strat is very flashy. I I like that strat. It's Definitely uh, it's recommend it. yeah, it's uh, it's free with Sakuya B. With everyone else, uh, it's hard. <laughs> Because the just because the C plus setup worth is uh, difficult with everyone else. All right, border timed. Gonna do some fancy graze. I still don't know where he's looking, but apparently he knows the way through these bullets. That's insane. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. These uh, 
This pattern is like quasi-static, so it like forms consistent lanes in every uh, in every pattern that you just dash through and gets tons of grace on. Mm -hmm. The bullets are aimed. You read the rotation. Got it. You can see by his movement that he's pretty confident on what he's doing. Yeah, he's had he's had plenty of time to figure out the lanes. Vice cancel. Okay, this uh, this is the second spell with um, with milkable enemies. My safe block raise. Yeah, that's more precise than it looks, by the way. Oh. Oh. Okay, so uh, did we talk about the value of a cherry item? Because the value of a cherry item varies, like how much cherry plus it increases by, varies based on your spell card capture amount. So unfortunately, yeah, they broke that. the border. So it's dropping by one. This is Copium, but uh, he wants to he wants to suicide on this non anyway. All right, very so unfortunate. Okay. So the but yeah, that, is okay, but just he yeah, lost the, a bunch of score. Yeah, he, lo he lost he lost a border and um, also presumably lost some items because you want to keep milking items on that spell as well, and he, he also he also can't do the really really fancy border on non-3, which is similar to the one on non-1. I really wanted but, to see it. <laughs> yeah. We'll get it next time. We'll get him next time. Alright, so we are going to get a border on this. Yeah. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, because you really want to manage your cherry plus for the start of stage 4, so if something goes wrong here, we might be heading back to stage 1. Yeah. Please get the border, please. Oh, is, is he gonna get spin? I, I, I like the setup going on right um, now. Hmm. Okay, okay. Got the border in 11 seconds. Okay. Come on, good, come good. on, come on. Move Dash up. Through. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Yes. That's what I want to see. Excellent. That's a, that's a very flashy spin. I like it. So, um, uh, the, ca the cancel at the end of this spell can kill your run, by the way. So you have to be very careful with uh, your C plus management. Please don't get a big cancel. Actually, 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 I, th I think actually, I think it's I think it's because the dolls can spawn like uh, cherry items. Yep, those dolls can spawn items. Oh, I think we could barely see it when they paused. It looked like forty seven, so he should be fine. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, he's taking a break. Let's take a look at um. SP Zero's run right now. Sh or shout out, shout outs to EBM. Shout outs to EBM. So one twenty one power means they're going to go for the big power item after the end of the spell. No, we're already entering stage four, so let's head back. Victorine da dashing up to um, uh, focus bombs over in the middle, cancels those bullets, activates this border. Uh, this is the most important screaming section of the entire game. It is gigantic. Uh, that's a. It's also really flash because you're like actually chaining borders, like intentionally breaking them because for some reason it's worth more. Well, it is worth more because you're like chaining a ginormous screaming section. So that's, actually, that's actually like a bomb delay that happened right now. So yeah. he picked up all the cherry items, so you're going to get the border. But you can't get a border while a bomb's active. So you bomb right before you get the border, so that you can delay the border so you can graze these bullets. Yeah. There's a lot going on on this stage. Yeah. Yeah, like... Alright, no um, grey item collection, please. You might see those grayed words, but those are actually just gray numbers. Yeah. Those are actually the star items. The star items. I think he grayed one there. Oh no. Has to reset now. Uh -huh. he, Scary. Ah, the grays, no! Don't worry, 
so, a little more grace going on right now. Yeah, so, um, uh, so for reference, graying an item loses three quarters, at least, in this. This game's pretty is, brutal. He is not very high on screen when he, when he does the red grace there. Did he actually extract everything from that? I think he did. Okay. Nice. Mm, this is getting scary. What is what is that route? Why would you do that yeah. route? Please. Oh wow! Almost fifty k. Um, is that okay? Yeah. Like yeah, that that is, that is fine. That is fine. Just do don't. Focused. Yeah, don't shoot. And then. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Do they break the border, or are they gonna take it? He's gonna take it, I think. Oh, I, I like that ship spam I see right there. Yeah. I guess we should mention about Reino B's damage. Like, point blank damage? Or should we talk about that later? later. Um. Yeah. Maybe, like, Unfold is stronger or something, but that comes later. Yeah. Alright, so um, so these sections, there, there's more border chaining, so you kill the enemies, sidestep, kill enemies, sidestep, and just gain all of this grace, and then you oh, break the border and you repeat border. the cycle. Yep, one last border. Nice. Alright, so here we're going to actually time when we're going to do the PLCs at the exact same time every time. So we don't gray an item. Nice. Kill the left, kill the right one, then the left one. All right, this section is hard. <laughs> You're gonna be jumping back and forth, left and right, just to kill all these fairies to get their items, because there are a lot of items per fairy. How much is that? Eight. Quite a lot. Yep. I'm gonna bomb here. Nice. Once again, delaying the border. And Grace. Grace. Finally, we're gonna spawn Grace this fairy. Nice. That's a suicide. Yes. And the uh, reason why he suicides is uh, is to get that. And the bomb restock. Yeah. Well, the, that, well, mm -hmm. well, the in. Well, in lower level routes, the bomb restock happens later, but yes. I just, ha I just uh, had a bad thoughts there. Don't worry. That last fairy drops a bomb, so by suiciding before the fairy dies, you're able to carry that bomb over to this life, so now they have four bombs. What sort of pace is Ixtrin on? Um, good pace. Yeah, it's good. Um, I, I don't... Ironically enough, I don't know PCB numbers very well, but uh, this is high. All I can say is it's a better pace than the one they had three hours ago, and that one scored very close to their PB. So therefore, this must be PB pace. Yeah. Uh, I... Okay, so he he got the he got the cherry items to set up border on uh, on this first non by the way, and now he wants a good cancel. that bomb is going to be another corner bomb. Nice. I wonder if that border is timed so you can like go jump right through this. Let's see. Yeah, no it's not. Uh, so that, so there are two types of bombs in PCB. There is the focus bomb and the unfocus bomb. Right before this they used a unfocus bomb. I hope that was not unintentional. Um, 
He, he oh, does oh, want oh, the on Sorry, Grace time, Grace time. Oh, what? He, do, he does the full thing. He does nice. the full thing. I think this would be a good time to talk about the spellcast bonus raising with Grace since yeah, we skipped yeah. over it the, uh, earlier. I'm yeah, like, so. Sakya B, where we bomb spam here, we're gonna keep grazing without bombing to get a very high spellcast bonus. So you, so you see Icterin as like, um, has very conveniently enlarged both the STD and the cherry for us. And you, you see you see it just going up and up. That's because he's grazing. Um, yeah, when when you when you graze during a spell card, the SCV actually increments, and the amount that it increments is uh, it's also proportional to your cherry. So because because of that, you know, he, with how much cherry he has now, he's at a he's at a point in the game where it starts becoming really worth it to. Stall spell, stall spells for Grace. So now that we have the resident uh, PCB scorer in the in the call, will he be able to let us know what pace this run is? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, apologies for being late, but um, what do we got here? One oh eight nine. What is he at? Is it one one six? For Cherry one, Max. One, one, seven, this looks yeah. like a pretty strong run, I'm gonna say. Um, it's probably above, it's probably a PB pace for him. Um, I haven't seen, I did see his PB replay, I haven't seen what happened in the last three stages here, but six lives looks pretty good. Um, I would say he's on good pace. I think so far. Meanwhile, SPO. Oh, yeah, still stuck in stage one. SPO seems to have gotten a 17k frost columns. Honestly, we'll it, that's just me. embarrassing. I'm sorry, SPO, but I know it's Rain Way. I'm going to have to cut you a little slack for that. But 17, right when I joined the stream, I mean, come on. <laughs> You're going to have to do a little better. Than that. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, Ictorine's on a pretty good run here. Um, Will they do the inside graze? It's coming up soon, like the border. Oh, oh no! That is really oh. unfortunate. Um, a, because, yeah. I was about to say he might do the inside graze on the final wave of the border. Then he kind of eye frame through the last part of it. But does this screw up stage five? No, it's just one last um, border. Yeah, I agree. I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if he's lost any spell cards yet. So the. The what? full spell stage five. I think it's doable with. Mm, I think it's doable with minus one, but it's kind of tight. He but lost. Uh, uh, he lost Russian dolls. Mm -hmm. Russian dolls. Okay. Yeah. I guess we'll see. It's gonna depend on how much cherry plus he has going into stage five. Also, SPO is playing Rainbow A. I know there have been some significant route updates to this shot type recently, but I'm not super familiar with them. I think it's pretty much uh, the major update is that you kill Lily White faster and it saves you 10 to 20 million, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's basically all spell, or all point items, sorry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he got. On a spell, he got, got power, right? He got walled. Um, no. So the zero bomb setup for stage five involves a power cancel. Um, so that's going to be a little complicated. He's probably pausing here just to think about how he's even going to approach this stage. Oh, never mind. He's uh, he's posting a funny quote. Oh, we're seeing the old grace for the final spell. This is going to be stage five. <laughs> The common one. 73. The common one. Tana, I don't think many people can call that the old or common one other than you. As the <laughs> inventor of it, but... That is a very common one. At least he's gonna get to stage 2. I like how he only has uh, 16 attempts at the spell. <laughs> <laughs> 15 out of 16, not too shabby. Oh yeah, we're talking about the cherry plus gain 
at like for shooting for different shot types. So Rainbow A and Rainbow B have different gains, with Rainbow A being slower. Can you confirm this? Um so slower, I think so. The thing is she does damage slower, so mm -hmm. um all six of the shot types times both of their unfocused and focused shot types have different cherry gains. Plus the base shot and the uh option shot, I guess I would call it, mm -hmm. also have slightly different shot gains. So I would say I believe Marissa A has the strongest uh, gain on the shot type, and Raymo B is second. Ictorian. Ictorian tried to do a backup, but he died. Yeah, that's... He's basically going into the old route now. So he's going to get the border here, and then the next border we'll see is going to be on uh, the mid-boss non-spill. But yeah, the... Um... The Raymu B needles gain cherry plus pretty fast. The Marissa A uh, Christmas trees, have they been called, are very fast for cherry plus gain, but they're kind of hard to control. Obviously, you don't want to move around at Marissa B's uh, or Marissa A's fast unfocused speed. But honestly, both of the homing shots are pretty terrible. Yeah, definitely. Um, so... Okay, I thought they were gonna see this hat at the start. On Yomu? Yep. <laughs> it would be funny, nah, he should funny use, for him uh, to Well, I think he's probably going to use the bomb on the uh, post-mid-boss section of the stage, and then use the second bomb on the... Uh, well, he's probably going to do a five border Yomu route for the boss section and use one bomb for that. I just realized we didn't talk about iframing with the border. Because we <laughs> won't explain that. Because we just saw it happen. I think he's dead. Alright, I guess I'll explain it. Okay, so uh, after you put a border, right when the border ends, you still have a few seconds of invincibility, even though the border's done. So you can like ram right through bullets. And we see that yeah, abuse quite a lot. It's about half a second, mm -hmm. roughly. I think another place we'll see it is you go spell one. So we'll keep that in mind. I, I think yeah. I remember it being 41 frames, maybe. All right, Isn't that much? I'm not sure if I ever knew the exact frame amount, but... I, I heard from somewhere there's that it's 41 frames. I have yeah. to check how much PIV they had beforehand. One, three, three. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Catch. Bond at the below the screen. So there, yeah. So that is uh, that focus bomb there saves you, or it gains a little bit more cherry plus than the unfocused bomb in the corner. Mm -hmm. You have to gray some items to do it, but he's got what four forty four thousand. So I'm not sure how much that affects this route because I think he's going to be forced into a five border route. But it's uh, potentially a big gain if you can do a six border. Taking so yeah. a look at SP0's run, and yeah, we're back to stage one. So, oh. so for, for, con, for, con, for context on Yomu, um, there's there's essentially three ways to do her. It, there's four border, five border, and six border. Um, four border is... Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. I think he activated a bit late, so so it like... Yeah, so it like fucking... Finished. He, he, wa he wanted to... Yeah, he f it didn't, he it didn't finish. It didn't finish in time, so like I think he wanted to do the strat where you dash up and like misdirect the second time. Anyways, um, yeah, it's not six, too necessary. Six border involves activating a border on HGS over here. Um, He's kind of in line with that route right now, but I yeah. I feel like he needs another bomb. What was that? Oh, good dodge. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Um, but yeah. Four border is the safe route, five border is the standard one, and six border is like the super precise high level one. Is how I would describe it. Yeah, so I think normally you would bomb twice on this non-spell. Basically, 
before the border to activate it, and then you do it again after so that you can get a border on the following spell card. Um, obviously, he just bombed before it straight to 49,000, so he's going to activate the border here. But I don't know if he's going to have enough to get a border on each of the next three uh, spell cards. Most likely, I think he'll probably focus shoot a little bit on the next spell, and then he will be able to time the border at a more advantageous timing on the following third and fourth spell. Um, because sometimes when you do the sixth border Yoma route, you have to cancel to the last border at the end of the final spell. And it's just, obviously you don't get any grades when you cancel to the border, so it's a little bit less uh, of a gain. But we'll see, he's unfocused shooting. Well, he's got 40,000. I guess the world may never know if he got that border, but he... 40,000 here? I don't know. There's a chance he got the border and broke it or something? I, I really have no clue. Wow, he's 30, 30 cherry plus off. Oh my god. He had 1428050. If he had 1428350, that's the same as a Diose cancel. Anyways, back to the run. Unfortunately, <laughs> he just broke the border here. <laughs> Oh uh, no, you just cursed him with that thought of the I'm USB. Sorry. <laughs> they have to be done. So that's two failed spells? No. Three? No, no, two. Uh, at least two. Oh, okay. There's oh there's no. That's, a, that's not that big of a deal, but it sucks. It sucks to fail a spell like this that you can potentially get a lot of grays on. So max life clear is seven now. I'm getting two more, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to what SPO got on the, uh, Frost Oh, it was, uh, 19. Unfortunate. It was 19. Another 19, wow. A shame. Oh, scary. Yeah, this one, I mean, the cancel, well, it happened anyway. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you break that border on the previous spell, you can get a little bit ahead on the next one, but ultimately he's going to have to make a choice here on how much of a power cancel he can get on spam. And can that potentially save him any resources? Seems like the chat stream is, okay, it's back. They were complaining the stream died, but we're back. All right, so they have 74k. Let's see what they get from this border coming up. I just realized uh, I'm in the screenshot <laughs> calling somebody a noob for not getting 20k. And SPO just did it like tw at least twice. That was close to 60. I think it was 59. <laughs> I've probably watched it, but I don't remember. Close. That's all I can say. <laughs> One day. It only takes one cross columns. One that matters in a full run. 22, 23? No, you only need 20. All right. <laughs> in a full run. At least according to that screenshot that Ictorine has on the uh, side of the screen there. So we're entering stage six. So they're going to full power cancel? For everything here? So there is a backup strat that you can use a bomb instead of suicide. Looks like he did it here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't really remember. Actually, that's something different. 
SBO <laughs> came up with a strat a while back where you can bomb in the side of the screen and skip the death and uh, mostly not gray any items but I think because of the power cancel he was able to just make the bomb work pretty easily either way that's going to be a decent score save um, by not having to have to lose another life since he's already not going to clear our max lives He should, I mean, maybe he's going to bomb on Yuko's first none, but he should clear with two or three bombs. How's the clear bonus work in this game for lives and bombs? 30 mil per life, 6 million for each bomb. So, if you have three bombs, well, keep in mind you get a bomb from the end of the mid-boss here, so four bombs, 24 million, it's barely worth a life, which is 30 million, but sometimes, depending on the cancel on this mid-boss spell, you might need to bomb Yuko's first non, and you might not. We're looking for like 58 being the first two digits on this cancel, on the yellow bonus. Nice. If 5865000. Zero, zero. So, what does he got? 21.3. I think, kind of a vague memory, but I think about 21.5 is my normal cutoff for using the bomb here. But he might be able to squeeze it out. So, 20... Sorry, not 20. A million. Mm -hmm. Stage 5 or stage 6? 2.06 here, 148. Um, I mean, he definitely took a hit on stage 5. It could potentially be PV pace, I'm not really sure. It's yeah. nice getting the stage 2 a spell card audio while we're on stage 6. <laughs> it's more interesting, probably. All right. The rest of the Yuko fight's just going to be a constant droning spam of bullets, so it's not going to sound very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully we can see some uh, spell card bonuses over 100 million. I think his uh, cherry max is a little bit low for that. But Hirokawa, we might see it. And knowing him, we could see a ridiculous amount of grays on Resurrection Butterfly. So I doubt he's going to do it this time, though. He probably wants to clear his first run for the day and then move on. Yeah. But for those who don't know, Victorine has uh, gotten, I think, over 4.6 thousand grays on Resurrection Butterfly. Um, Yusuke being the only other person who's gotten a significant amount over 4,000, and I think he's gotten 4.7, maybe 4.8. So with Rainbow Beat? I think Yusuke did it with Sakya B, and Victorine did it with Rainbow B. Nice. Probably. Um, right, spinning time. Oh, is this the other version of the spin? This is the reverse spin. It's maybe a little bit standard by these days um, between both of the players we see playing here and maybe Yusuke. But I think it gains like one or two hundred grays. Um, it's probably not much harder, so it's it's kind of worth it. But if you got to relearn the whole strat, it's kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. Either start with this or stick with the old one. We're getting the fancy Alice Grace. Oh yeah, he is doing that one. I think that's somewhat standard with Rainbow 8. 
this is actually where we're going to start seeing some interesting stress from Rainbow 8. Um, it's going to be most noticeable on stage 4, but even on stage 3 it gets a little... It deviates a little bit from the typical route. 31. 318. <laughs> Wait, how many zeros is that? Oh, yes, yeah, 31. 31, all right. 31 mil. Um, I mean, the first two spells aren't that interesting on Yuko. The 3, 4, and 6 are the really interesting ones. Yeah, he did do the reverse spin, so it's worth something. Maybe uh, up to 5 mil. Oh, no, that might be an overestimate. Yeah, SPO broke the border there on Boonraku. That spell is terrible, probably the worst spell in this game. Yeah, it, it may be hard to notice the difference, but... You're basically spinning around uh, 180 degrees from the normal starting point. Oh, he broke that border. That's really unfortunate. This is one of the three big spells that can get up to a 100 million bo uh, spell card bonus. And I know he is very good at this spell. <laughs> so that's probably... Oh, and he canceled early. It's probably... Points. Yeah, the graze is worth a little bit, but it's it's probably 80 to 100 mil spell trade bonus plus the 15-ish, uh, 16-ish million border bonus plus a little bit lost from not as much cherry max. Cool. All right, can can you get here here car at least? All right, he's at the proper height. Hopefully. Good. How do players figure out the correct height? Um, so I actually, just... you can look at the uh, the spell circle that spins around Yuko, mm -hmm. and that will give you a good reference for the height. But if you want to do the extended opening graze, then it's going to disappear, or more, I would say she will move away and move the ring away before you get to the position. So you either just know it, or you look for that and lose like 100 graze. That must know if 2.5b is possible. Do they mean after the spell? Um, I'm a bit confused on the question. After this spell, it's probably possible. Let's it might be a little spell. under. I have I have for the for entire run. Build. Yes, it is possible. I have. In fact, it will happen before oh, oh, the run oh, oh, ends. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's. We, we got it. We got the score. Uh, that spell card bonus. Oh, 105. Let's go. 105. There 8. you go. 7. So, so 2.47. I guess 2.5 is not possible if he game overs before the spell ends. How is Which is unlikely. Ahead, despite being three stages behind, he has one less digit compared to Adrian's. Well, if you don't look at the digits, he's winning by a solid amount, but... Yeah, so a solid, a solid <laughs> like, Oku even. A full Oku yeah. ahead in stage three. Hot damn. It's full, it's full real... Players really have gotten crazy these days. I've definitely been watching the left side of the screen, but I think SPO is on a good run right now. Like I said, yeah, 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 yeah. where it's going to get really interesting for this spell or for this um, shot type. But he did lose one spell on stage three, right? The mid boss. He got it. Ah, oh, uh, he, uh, he already got ten thousand out of the spawn graze, but breaking the border kind of screws things up. Oh, is he is uh, Akirin going for the border? Oh yeah, yeah. He is. Okay. I was wondering yeah, where they're shooting. The border. Yeah, it's, with with Raymu B, with Raymu B, with Raymu B, it's yeah, pretty reasonable. Um, but yeah, what what happens here is that like you activate a border at the start, it times out, and then you have you have just enough health bar left to activate on a on whole other and All right, three still oh five kill nine it. four. Let's see if he can get a... I'm hoping for a solid uh, 3.4 thousand grays here. I think that would be good for the fans. Yeah. Do it for us, please. For oh, a PB. The last 
It's uh, how many items? Was it 90 items from the spell? Uh, yes, 90. Well, he can, he can 3 billion even with, with like the standard route. But he's going, he's going, he's going. He's going. I don't know how many spells he dropped. I think like three or four. It yeah, shouldn't really affect the strat. It's it's pretty much the same for Rain Movie unless you miss a lot of spells. Cool. There we go. Nice. Very good. Very good. Now he, now he has to do that. He spins clockwise or counterclockwise on that. I think everybody else does clockwise. Now he just has to do that two more times. And it gets progressively yeah. difficult. Yeah, it gets denser and denser over time, so it's quite a big deal. Like, until until recently, this graze was pretty much completely unheard of outside of, you know, Yusuke doing it. Oh my, hey, my TV does it. <laughs> even though it doesn't have enough spell cards to even reasonably do it. <laughs> Just 3400? <laughs> Oh, Alright, he, he does it. He does very it. Very nice yeah. completion. Three, very four, nice. six, five. Just the PPV, yeah. That is 3.471. So, very nice. And it's a PPV. 319. 319. Score. High score. 3.198. And then versus nice 3.0. Run. Nice run, sir. That was really good. Congratulations on the PB. Hopefully we can get another one in the same stream, since we have so much time. Why is he in chat? Um, Go back to playing. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, my estimation was a little low in Stage 4. I think he lost a decent amount on Stage 5, and if not for that, this could have been potentially 3.3. Ah, uh, he's... We're getting spoilers. He doesn't have a blocker. Oh, he has a blocker. He showed it. Please put it back on. Um, oh my god, I've never seen this zoom, ending. Somebody cover zoom it up. D, zoom DMCA. <laughs> zoom DMCA incoming. Alright, let's see how SPO handles Lily White. This oh is going god, to be the big epic moment of this whole route. Oh yeah, there's a there's a there's a new Lily kill. To be completely honest. I might not recognize if he succeeds or not, but oh, there's the uh, PCV iceberg. So how does this new speed kill work? Um, basically, it kills only one wave of items earlier, unless you're two speed kills behind. I think he just did it there. I think that blue wave is the one we're looking for. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much. In line with uh, when Ray Movies kills the uh, mid boss there. Okay, I'm sorry to the border this again right there. Doing this, but what exactly is a uh, enemy slot manipulation? <laughs> um, I don't think I know the answer to that one. All right. Honestly, I haven't been too active in this game for three years, and I don't really know what half that shit is because most of it is just weird shit that Ictorine figured out during. Uh, testing of some sort, but enemy slot manipulation, um, I think I did hear about this one, but I don't really remember. Chat says it's, a do, it's to do with homing. I think I kind of see what they mean. Yeah, I think I heard about that. The other one in there that said uh, unique version of stage 4 or whatever, practicing unique version of stage 4, mm -hmm. that is about the uh, homing shot. So this section that SPO is currently on, mm -hmm. um, there was a bug in the spoiler AL version of stage 4 in which it spawned some enemies one or two frames late, and that for some reason caused Rainbow A's homing shot to aim to the wrong enemy. And so when you practiced it in Spoiler AL, some of the enemies would get away because the homing shot didn't hit them. Mm -hmm. And then when you did the full stage, it would hit those enemies and kill them. So that was a lot of confusion. Uh, somehow, these two geniuses that are playing the game figured it out. But um, I guess Spoiler AL is just outdated. I hate to say it, but... Mm -hmm. Times are changing. Times are changing. So we've been promised funny things to be practiced on the left on the left side. Let's take a look and see. Eventually. Interesting. 
I think a full run would be a funny thing to see Ictorine do. He yes. changed the uh, quote I, on the right side of the screen there. I, Previous I players agree. are a danger to humanity. I encrypted the replays and will never release them. If anyone who watches them is at risk of losing so many brain cells, they become Elon Musk 2.0. Is this what it's like to keep smallpox contained in a lab? What? <laughs> oh, he's practicing frost columns. No. I love it. Can we get a 26 hit? Oh, no, it's not frost columns. Table, table, table turning. Is he, he going to do a double table turn? No. 42 is actually very high. Wow. Did he so, do it in the last spell? I think I joined yeah, the stage. Yeah, he, he did. He did that in his run as well. Their last run, yeah, sorry. One bomb on the stage, two bombs on the second on to get the enough cherry plus. So now SB0 has four bombs, so what, do we know what route they're going to use? Oh yeah, I got distracted and was not paying attention to the uh, epic stage four that I previously mentioned. I think he... four bombs, so I think he... I don't... I don't quite remember. He's definitely going to capture the first spell, and I don't know if there's a possible chance of him getting two borders before that. Mm -hmm. But the Rainbow A bomb is a little janky. It's kind of hard to control. Do they use the unfocused or focused one? Previously, I saw focused. Yeah, I think the focused one does more damage, but also gets you more cherry plus. Let's see what he gets. Uh, um, um, 46k. Oh, that was... Bell focus, right? Based yeah. on the movement? Yeah. I think so. That bomb basically got him zero cherry plus. Damn. If I read it correctly, it looked like it went from 36 to 37k. But he set up the border here pretty nicely. Are we going to jump through this? Nope. Oh, on focus bomb. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that, that was late because... So uh, barely gets him anything. Yeah. It was, it was late because he... I think you normally want to, like, activate the border basically basically the earliest possible frame here yeah i mean basically you want that last uh extra thick ring to be canceled after the bomb just like in eosd so mm -hmm. there's a chance he got one fourth value on that on the first bomb got the but board. once again it looks like the border is timed perfectly oh. so he jumped down too early no that's intentional yeah uh, nobody actually does like that no graze actually didn't uh the other guy did it? Did he? I, he probably did. Right. Ictur only Ictur only Ictur did two waves. Yes, he can mm -hmm. yeah, actually do it. He, although, to be fair, Ictorin didn't do the Super Mad Lad version where you go inside the red ring as well. Yeah, well, that's kind of... only kinda... choose which enemy to hit on this spell. It probably chooses the nearest one. I'm not uh, sure exactly what the answer is, but... Um, I don't really trust the homing to hit what I want it to ever, which is why I don't play that shot type. As long as no one also, else shows up. It tends to be a little inconsistent between the focus and unfocused shot. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's staying on track here. Grazing. Oh, last one. Nice. I think he's on track for an 8 life clear here. If he, um, I don't think there's any way to get the extra border during the stage 5 stage portion, so he's gonna have to use the bomb and get one border. Um, which he should have two left over after this, and then the second bomb will be used after the mid boss. And then after that, it'll just be the uh, suicide on the stage six portion. 
Hopefully we can see the inside graves this time. Hopefully. That was definitely an unfortunate failed spell card for Victorine last time. Can build up pretty high in the graves. And I think it was like an instant border break, so nothing gained off of that. I gotta say though, I hate this spell card. I don't know why, I just... It's always... It always feels awkward for some reason. It's nice with Sakuya Beat. Get to spam bombs, get borders. Break those yeah. borders, spam more bombs. That is the nice part. You basically graze like six waves and then just press X for the rest of them. What kind of cancel are we looking for here? Was it 7.8 million? Um, are my numbers I'm not really sure. I think it's... I think it's pretty possible to get a... Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty possible to get a max cancel on that, like 1024 bullets on the screen. Mm -hmm. Although I might be wrong about that. It's very easy to bomb to that with Saku B. Is Ikthorin just gonna, just gonna spend the rest of the match in practice mode? We have 53 minutes, they'll come back. Yeah, he might be waiting for SPO to clear. be an interesting choice, but I'd like to see him go for it. I'm waiting for them to pull out the Mars Nubby and start showing the laser. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope not. Alright, let's, let's see how spell handles the final spell. So due to the cherry plus increase, I'm assuming they will get the border on the spell cancel? Um, I think so. Although... Mm. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. This, we're at 0 for 2 for the spell card today. The spell is tough. I think for survival, this is probably top four patterns in the game for difficulty. I am, I am Prism anti fan. Yeah, oh, I also think the, we're getting the oh, we got the, uh, the left. Oh well, it's in practice mode. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I count it, but he did do the full border in there. All right, Let's see here. So will he time the full power cancel or just grab it whenever? It is timed. Yeah, this is... I don't think this is a very standard strategy. This is kind of a... Backup. A bit of a backup strat, yeah. Hopefully the bomb is enough here. He's going to get a decent amount of cherry items, so it should be fine. Oh, 46. 46. It is not fine. If he can... Well, okay. He can just grab him there. He's so this like is basically now... Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is basically the second border of the, or not the second border, but kind of aligns with the uh, alternate strat where you get two borders on the stage portion before the mid boss. I'm not sure how intentional that was or if that was just a impromptu backup strat, but it's uh, it's hard to keep up with these rainbow A strats, you know. That C, that C plus looked a bit low for Spo there. I'm actually a bit worried. 46, 47, 40. Oh, oh no, are they going to wait till the next cycle? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot that. There's no rush on this one. That's actually pretty smart. If you don't get it in time, wait for the next cycle. I think it's 100% consistent to uh, misdirect those waves. Mm -hmm. Oh, we almost got. Bullet almost spawned on him there, though. Just the wrong height. But he dealt with it well. We got the bomb sound effect, right? Without the BGM. Did we? I wasn't paying enough attention. I actually forgot, but it seems like... I guess uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking about it hard enough. 
Yeah, one of. You, you mean like during the mid boss cutscene? That's always there. Mm -hmm. Also, I said some misinformation last week. I mentioned that Victorine does not have a clear. Apparently, he did have one clear. And he got one today, so this is at least his third clear, not his first clear. Yeah, I think he's had more than that, but mm -hmm. he'll never uh, admit it. Can we get some music impression from the commentary booth? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at that. Anyone else um, going to turn stage 5 BGM for us? No. 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 <laughs> oh. What about Hurry? Oh. Maybe they can help us out, unless they fell asleep. It's like, what, 3 a.m. for you? Not yet, I'm not yet asleep. In fact, I was thinking. Uh, earlier we skipped over uh, uh, talking about Rebel Beast shots. Uh, yeah, I think you were saying that I'm focused on sport damage and focused uh, than me. Oh, yeah. You didn't, didn't talk about it actually. So, for Raymond B, I think if you're doing point blank, your unfocused needles are going to be doing more damage than if you are just it, shooting it, focused. It's not exactly. Uh, yeah. It's not actually point blank. Uh, uh -huh. uh, if you're actually point blank completely, uh, you actually lose a bit of damage. Uh, oh you wow. Have to be just a little bit in the middle of the boss. Is there a reason that when you're too close, it does less damage? Maybe I, I, some I never understood it. I, I just knew that if you were a bit uh, below, you would just did more damage. Interesting. Uh, I, I, there's a, yeah. I don't know why. There's a notorious damage cap on the Sakia solo shot in Imperishable Night. Yeah, I think it's something that. like that. But I think the um, needles gain more cherry for damage than the uh, base shot does. Mm -hmm. So if you can hit, like, some of the needles come out uh, less dense than others. I think they're, like, nine rows of needles, and every other one is less dense. So if you hit the ones on the left on certain bosses that aren't wide enough to hit all of them, then you can gain a little bit more cherry per damage. So um, and then sometimes you let one of the five base shots not hit for that reason. Gary mm -hmm. Dodges? Oh, okay, Scared. that's okay. Yeah. One thing good. that we could say for Remo B is that mm -hmm. sometimes, um, I think we've already seen uh, uh, in, uh spam shift while shooting, because oh, yeah. that also does more damage. Mm -hmm. That also I think helps gain a bit of six on, plus. On stage four mid boss? I think he did that. Yeah, it does help do more damage when far away because you are able to output a bit of the unfocus shot while focused. Yeah, Already at 2k grace. 20k. Oh my god. That means to be USD with one less digit. <laughs> it would fit with the USD. Hopefully, um, we can see a close to PB on this run for SPO. I think it's uh, pretty low on mistakes so far. Unfortunately, I don't have a great frame of reference for Rainbow A numbers. Um, the numbers in terms of raw score should be like pretty similar across the board, but uh, I'll have I'll have to look how much he has going into stage six. Yeah, I guess to be fair, it's probably not that much different from Rainbow B numbers. Basically, the same route, just worse. Yep. So this isn't really related to the run, but is his name SP Zero or SP O? Because right now we see Team Sunny Current Rainbow A. It says SP Zero, but then if we look a bit below that, it says SP O Sunny. No results yet. So is it an O or a zero? Oh, I'm going crazy. Here. I say O, oh, but I always read it as O in my head, but uh -huh. um, yeah, I'm probably wrong. Uh, I, I just said SP O because yeah, I think it's a zero, but. When it's like that, you can just pronounce the soul. But I've seen others just say something like spo, right? So <laughs> I say spo because I'm lazy. I don't know if I ever asked him, but uh, after knowing him for years, sending thousands of messages back and forth, 
You can't just I guess I'm still up. just making it up. <laughs> so is this going to be an 8 life clear, or we're going to see a suicide at the start of stage 6? Uh, we will see a suicide, but we will see two more extends. Oh wait, yeah, two more extends. So we're at 6, so it's going to drop to 5 and then 7, okay. Yeah, he, he kind of he kind of has to suicide for the spam border. Well, he has to, he has to die for it anyway. Hold up, are we <laughs> timing this for graze? Are we timing this for the graze for the scroll card bonus? Yeah, he's grazing it. Oh my god! It is again. Maybe not quite as much for this shot type, but with Saki B, it's pretty decent. Um, he's pretty good at this spell, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's worth timing all the way down. So what's this going to be like? Close, close to 1.75 score. Yeah. And now I can't see the cherry max because he paused, but uh, well, feels like a, a solid a one point, pace. Yeah, 1.7 is... Um, gonna be a solid 3 billion pace no matter which shot you're looking at yeah 7 life clear I mean maybe we can get 3.1 Yeah. either way if he gets 3.0 it's gonna be uh, I guess we have the target score already calculated here 3.06 is his goal yep. but yeah pretty much 3.0 is his, is his ideal score here and it's probably gonna be able to bump him up to first place 4K, nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. 4K is not too easy on that with Remu. Sakia, it's pretty doable, but Remu's tough. 3.8 is usually what I'd aim for with that. This spell, we're hoping for like 3 point, or 4.3. Is that the extended graze they're doing right now? Yeah, that's the partially extended graze that goes around the green wave. I'm not really sure why he's doing that. That's really just not worth the attempt, in my opinion. We're going to see Rainbow be 4 billion within the next 42 minutes. <laughs> I wish. I think his uh, sum of best is like 3.8, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, P PCB players living up to their reputation of never doing runs. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're getting to stage yeah. 6 entry. Alright, SPO is going into stage 6. Stage 6 can be pretty brutal in this game. You kind of just hope you don't make a, a dumb mistake, and if you do, you lose like 100 mil. And that's basically the whole stage. It's honestly not even that hard, but what it is. Yep. There are a lot of mistakes to be made. Yeah, stage 6 is not actually that difficult, but um, there, there is quite the... It is quite scary because it just... You need to be consistent at it. One mistake yeah. will lead to another, and then it's just back to stage 1. There, there is a there's a funny tweet by me where I where I describe the difficulty of um, uh, of RB. I I put it I put it as like two stars in uh, in actual difficulty, but eight stars in consistency. You mean Rainbow B or yeah. the um, Resurrection Butterfly? Resurrection Butterfly. Okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. I think as someone who's choked a stage six quite a few times, that's how it goes. Indeed. I'd say those I'd say those stats can be ex extrapolated to the rest of the stage pretty well. Well, maybe not the stage section, but Yuiko definitely. Yeah, I mean a lot of the Yuiko spells are kinda like all or nothing. You either just do it correctly or you make a dumb mistake and lose like a hundred twenty million, so Is that four thousand pace on the left going on right now? Uh, what did he have right after the border? I think, I think it, it is 32. definitely. It's definitely. It's like 4,200 maybe. 
Well. Four, I two, four, so. three. He is really good at that spell. Yeah. Anyways, um, spell. Are we going to see a bomb here? Or the yeah, I think he has yes, to. Yeah. Uh, actually, he's focus shooting. He meant yeah. to skip the border yeah. entirely. Yeah, he's like skipping it. I'm not really sure. Well, I my assumption it's... is that Raymond's bomb is so bad that she can't get anything useful out of it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it kind of hurts also, to bomb when your cherry's this high. I also, I also guess that maybe, maybe his, maybe like, even after the cancel, his uh, his C plus just wasn't good enough even with a bomb. Yeah. Or maybe it's maybe it's part of the routes. I don't know. His cherry plus was kind of low after the spam cancel, and then if he didn't get like a super good cancel off of the mid spell, then it's yeah, pretty much yeah. over. Yeah, he he had like he had like forty two k after spam. Yeah. Ultimately, though, Rainbow A's bomb is kind of finicky, so I'm not really sure how much you can expect off of that. We're finally back to run on both screens. Finally. Let's see if we can get the uh, ninety five thousand stage one off of uh, something funny happening here. Also, that's a joke. I don't even think 95,000 is possible. Actually, uh, I think it is, because if he gets 20 on spell 1, and then boss spell 1, he gets 30, and then the final spell, he gets 46. That's 96, right? Is 46 possible on that thing? He got 46 today. Like. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, 46 is possible on spell 1, and like 32 is possible on spell 2, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, bombing. <laughs> this snoring for some reason. You woke him so. Does he do the full third spell route, the Letty final route, or is he still cutting off some part of it? I'll find out. Ah, uh, he he broke on. Uh, what is this? He broke on this spell. Oh, uh, butterfly illusion. Yeah. No, no, butterfly oh, illusion is next. Deadly is dance. Deadly dance, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mix them up sometimes. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He's doing the reverse spin, too. There you have it, folks. Reverse spin, not worth it. One border break is all it takes to sell me on that. <laughs> Same. He's still fine for uh, the Resurrection Butterfly grits. I think that's... The, how many spells has he lost? I think that's I, the first one. I haven't, I haven't been counting. I think that might be the first one, yeah. Or well, um, maybe there's one on stage four. Prism, yeah. Prism's final, Prism's final. Oh yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm doing I was, this, this is the same run. It's been so long. This game. I'm pretty really sure. Long. I'm pretty sure he can drop like four spells and not really change the route at all on Resurrection Butterfly. I like how he's misdirecting these knives. We didn't talk about that this week. Wait, this is uh, this is definitely a static knife spell or non-spell. Yep. Yeah. I missed the grace at the start. He just kind of dashed past it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean that grace? Yeah, I also missed writing down the number. I don't have Torch Chat open to type it into. Not available to play Gray's Police. <laughs> Since we're seeing Gray's on the right side, I noticed that on the left side they're watching a replay before starting the run. Did we talk about that at the start? We're gonna see it right now, actually. It's it's sim it's similar to EOSD where you you essentially play a replay, exit out at the first possible frame, which is not a thing in EOSD, but it is in this game. Um, mm -hmm. and, but yeah, that's that sets up your your item table to be. A very specific one, the optimal one. Uh, so looks like a pretty good grade so far. 80, 85 million on uh, Butterfly Evolution on spell side. Yeah, with about 1.5 million uh, Cherry Max, that's pretty good. Well, Ictorian had 2.37 enter the next belt. 
So I feel it's gonna have 2.26. I'm not sure how much the non spell gets. There's like 100 mil behind. And it's yeah. 165. 130 less. So Bo I think doing a, mm -hmm. doing a pretty, pretty safe uh, in progress there. So you can yeah, so he can dash does towards that two. He uses the spell ring to line up the second part of the graze. Yeah. Oh, Ross Helms, border break, unfortunate. The classic Frost Collins border break. Yeah. I can't hate. It means he was trying. Yeah. So we've got about 33 minutes left in the match here. Um... For SPO, after clearing this run, that probably means he can get to stage four and choose to reset if he wants. Oh, not a hundred million. Not quite a hundred, but nine seven nine seven. Nine seven nine seven is still really high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he, if he had just not broken the borders that he broke, then that probably would have been a hundred. I'm concerned this might not get for us, because he's down a life, right? Six lives? Uh, he, he's... Uh, he'll get seven. Alright. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Oh, wait, he's gonna... A, he's gonna... Up. He's gonna extend on RB, yeah. I forgot about that. I'm not sure how hard it is to get the border on this spell with Rainbow A. With Rainbow B, it's pretty easy. With Saki B, it's really hard. Rainbow A is probably somewhere in between. Just based on the uh, cherry gain per damage. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I'm Rain not... is floating over the cherry plus, but oh, there we go. Now I can see it. I'm not. No. I'm not very. I'm not very familiar with uh, with um, cherry C plus per unit of damage for every E shot type. Oh wait. What's this bomb doing? What, what, I don't know. what was that bomb about? Uh, I, I think he, or yeah, I think he peeped. Pro probably panicked. Unless right. well, does that minus... delay the border or something? No, that doesn't delay the border. Wait, hold on. What's going on? Wait, no. the it start... does. It does um, delay the border. It, del it delays the border, but it's like actually kind of bad in this case. So it might delay the border just no, the right on. amount. Why would it be bad? Yeah, because the border is going to end before the item spawn. It might end before the item spawn after the first wave starts, but I don't think that's worth the six mil loss and the yeah. cherry loss from bombing. Uh, also, he paused, which probably means that was a mistake. Yeah, oh, I thought he's, he he always pauses when he's just, streaming. Yeah, so I mean like, he's gathering his nerves. nerves, but uh, since he bombed before I getting the border, I don't think that bomb. Yeah, yeah. Then he delayed the border because like, he the lost items. star items. Yeah. Yeah. So he lost. Well, yeah, he did lose star item score, which is not too, well. He has thirty-two thousand grace, so it's kind of relevant. The game there. I mean. Oh, I like that. That looks cool. Yeah, the, that, that looks cool, but it's like. Yeah, it's. I it personally feel like really, I should have watched the world record. It, it it's, really it's does just not, not gain much. Be, it's just not gonna be worth the loss, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's like really worth well, it. Well, he's already up to cherry max. I think he probably got max right off the cancel, assuming no man. But yeah. the six mil, just straight up six mil loss from the bomb, kind of a lot. Yeah. I. So in my in my opinion, it didn't cost him that much, but. Uh, it is. I find it really likely that it was uh, a panic bomb or mistake. Yeah, I don't even think he would like do a strat like that normally. It's like he's definitely one for consistent strats. I don't think he would do something like that as a two mil game. All right. I missed his grace at the start. I don't know. All right. This is this I is three bill three bill for sure. He probably got like three bill for sure. Like 
Three point one. Okay, that's good then. Nice. Very nice run. Very nice run. Three point one. Congrats, a good run. Yeah, probably can put him in. Go well, definitely can put him in first. That's a that's a cute UU. Wow, a normal end screen blocker. What the hell? We want funny pictures. I I want funny gifts. Yeah, so that bomb gained him an extra border invincibility grace, but did anyone catch the spellcard bonus on RB there? I don't think I saw it, but I losing the bomb loses six million for the clear bonus. I I don't think the amount of grace he could have gained off that is worth it. I'm going to boot up PCB right now and go check what the world record is. For what? Um, that's or for which shot? Uh, the Rainway. The one from... Oh, you're going you're gonna to see what strat he uses? Yep. I'm pretty sure I just watched it and he did not bomb there. Alright. But you should check anyway because I probably wasn't yep. paying much attention because and we're stuck I would have never it. expected it. Alright, we're about I to see another see frost column scene. He's hiding yep. it. Very, very, very intense menuing on both sides. <laughs> oh, it didn't even get to frost columns. I hate to see it. Spell at TWC5. Checks out. TWC5, that is quite a lot of tournaments. Five years. Five years. Um, have we lasted twice as long as Sukuata at this point? We lasted longer than DRC for sure. Okay, so oh. in the world record, he did not do it. It could be a new strategy. Yeah, okay. Said in chat. You already saw the output. How fast were you skipping through that? I have it set to 9999, so it goes as fast <laughs> as my PC can handle. Okay. Yeah, mine's set to like 600, I think, but I still wouldn't be able to get through stage 6 in that time. I said, I usually set my speed up to 1000. No, I'm playing this shit on a laptop. Damn. Good enough. The game came out in, what, 2003? Yeah. 2002. Alright, let's take a look at this frost columns. Oh, here we go. I notice he goes left twice. So, when the border comes... Oh, uh, alright, wait uh, for the next round. Yeah, you basically want to direct Chirno to the right, and then... Like, step to the right one more time, just to dodge that bullet. So according if she to ever goes chat, left, it's kind of bad. According to Victorine and chat, it's a minor gain, but it's cool. The bomb. A minor gain, huh? I don't okay. Interesting. I'm guessing the cancel from the spell gets him right back to Cherry Max right away. And then, I mean, it's only a gain if your cherry's high enough. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to say. It's probably... Like... Almost a, uh, I don't know. Maybe like 300 grays or something. I don't know. It feels like it's not worth it, but I'd never ran the calculation, so I'll take their word for it. So how important is watching this replay to uh, manip the table? To um, the item table? So you want to get enough, uh, I think you want to get enough power items. And mm -hmm. basically, if you don't, then you're going to have to reset on frost columns because your cancel is going to be too low. Mm -hmm. And that's probably like a one in one in six, one in eight chance, maybe. I notice he has 41 power, which means he did not get the big power item yet. Yeah, that's I think that's well. That's actually yep. normally something you do because when Rainbow gets to 48 power, she shoots the main shot three ways instead of two. Oh, got it. So you do slower damage on Cherno, which means you activate the border later on Frost Combs. 
you know, the, which is not really a problem, but it's an inconvenience. Yeah, you know, the um, uh, on the optimal item table, which is this one, mm -hmm. the the optimal item table, which contains exactly one extra power. Um, that's just that's just how the big powers spawn. The the uh, the last big P that's usually before the mid boss ends up after it instead. Yeah. Oh and yeah, you can get 122, so he can drop two power items on this and still get the optimal border. But, like I said, I think it's a convenience thing to get the big P after the mid-boss. So we're at 21, so hopefully we're going to be above 50. Oh yeah, I wasn't paying attention, but he got a good frost columns. GG. <laughs> They updated, the, they updated the TWC wording to write current replay. Current to replay. Yep, over SP0's name. So he's currently watching replay, so. Oh, he walled himself there. Nice. Aww. 349.5. Close to 50. Yeah, that spell's stupid. That's pretty good. Well, you can still see the 90, I believe. I can, I can confirm that the spell is stupid, but um, but mm -hmm. spell things aren't consistent at it anyway. No, this spell is definitely stupid. Also, the cancel on this spell is stupid. One, I think 134 is really good for that cancel, but I don't quite remember. It, I never was able to figure out a consistent way to get a good yellow bonus on that spell. What's a what's a good yellow bonus for it? I think 130 is good. All right. I mean, I'm I'm definitely a little rusty on some of these numbers, but I'm too. I'm pretty sure that's correct. I hope this is enough to get the portal. Okay, good. Yeah. Nice. Love yeah, I think, I think the 134 help. was was oh. strong. Oh my god. If only this. Uh, why okay. did you have to? Why did you right. have to invent that strat? What the hell? I blame the lasers. Ruined everything for one PCB player ever. Because he's the only one who ever actually attempted it. I think Yusuke was doing it in TWC last year. And he was. He yeah. was. Actually, you're you're probably right. Yeah, ruined it for two PCB players ever. <laughs> <laughs> I did use it in my 2.5, but I failed it. So I went through the rest of the game with minus one spell cards. <laughs> you failed. You failed a levy spell and then cleared. You might be the only one who's ever done that. At least on the PND list. Uh. So we're gonna see 41 again. Yep. That's like the old meme of uh, failing, like one miss no bomb to Rumia. Yep. The timer patient. <laughs> yeah, it's a <laughs> uh, guys, uh, yep. I disconnected for a few minutes. I mm -hmm. lost my connection. Did something I happen when in the meantime? We disconnected. So were you there when? Like five SP minutes ago. Five minutes ago. So you saw the clear. Uh, yeah, I did see okay, the clear, but I disconnected just before the final score. Just oh, okay. RBN. So he got 3.2. Put him in first. Did, did he PB? He did not PB. He no, lost 100 million no. off his PB. Oh, I think his PB is 3.20. Oh, but uh, Ectorine did get a PB, which SP0 mentioned in chat. Yeah. It's gonna be 319 or 119. I don't know where I got the three from. I accidentally typed Marisa A instead of Marisa B. Um. I just um, I noticed that Ikarine is using one of my replays for the item table. Uh, I sadly do not know which replay that is. <laughs> it's uh, it's a lucky minutes. one. You can say that. <laughs> Twenty got minutes left on the clock. Table. 20 minutes left on the on the clock, and right. uh, both players do have runs in. 
20 minutes but, left on the clock. We got a pause screen on the left, and we got a replay screen on the right. Yep. Uh, PCB players really living up to, be, to their <laughs> reputation of being stuck in stage one for eternity. Also not playing. How fast is he tapping shift there? SPO says, like, do you really want me to play Marissa B? I really want you to play the damn oh game God. and just start mm -hmm. a run. I think he's gonna go with it. Please play, the, play the game. Just play the game. Play the fucking oh game, God. please. Tell him play can, it. Play Sakia B. Play Sakia B. If we tell him to play the game, he's not gonna do it. If we tell him to play the game by doing something stupid, he'll do it. That's why we have to make him play Marisa. Somebody tell right. him to play Sakia B. Tell him to get 4 billion. He's capable. Alright. <laughs> In that case, why don't we um, get him to commentate on the run going on right now? Or do we have to wait until the no. time is up to bring them in? <laughs> Play the game, dude. You know what? This run needs more commentary. We can get five people in here. We need more people talking about this frost columns that's about to happen. We need time for 23. He got 21, then he got 22, so 23 is coming up. True. Uh, that's definitely how it works. How much does the boss's movement play a role in how much race you get? Uh, if yeah, she moves know. far to the left, mm -hmm. it gets you lose out on a decent amount because it just kind of blocks you off from a section. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say that probably happens like one in five, and it probably loses one or two thousand. Uh, Unfortunately, Ictorine just said he's satisfied with his run. That means there's a very low chance he'll reach stage 2. You're not supposed to be satisfied. Then you get stuck in an infinite loop in stage 1. Oh, we're getting... we're getting Witch Marisa. Nice, the laser one. He's actually playing Marisa B. I see, I see this shift tapping, I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, that shift the tapping is... is basically a damage bug um mm -hmm. it increases the dps and i'm not really sure how it affects the cherry plus i think you basically get somewhere between unfocused and focused uh cherry plus gain mm -hmm. but it does do a lot of damage so if it's done right you can kill bosses really fast how difficult is it to do because i tried it well, tried it out once and i could not do it i honestly don't know i don't think i've ever really messed with it but I think uh, when SPO discovered that, it was seemed pretty easy for him. Maybe it's time to start scoring where is Eddie. I'll look into it. Please don't do that. <laughs> I just, uh, I just. I can assure you, it's gonna suck. Uh -huh. How fast do you have it's to manage? It's gonna be fun. Yeah, honestly, fun. <laughs> Marissa A is probably a pretty fun score shot, but Marissa B is just awful. But Saki A is fun. still worse. So. All right, let's see what he gets. So, I think she moved left there. Well, he he activates the border a little later because of uh -huh. Raymo A, Raymo B restrictions, so 22 is pretty good. 22.5. Um. Is it, is it just me, or has this match been more of a hellscape than previous years? <laughs> That's a good thing, right? That's probably a good thing. I mean, yeah. Honestly, um, uh, honestly, host suffering is um, it's it's good it's good comedy value. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> These guys are just playing practice mode. It's terrible. Guys, just wait till 2036. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do something All epic. Right. Surely Someone clip this so we remember it in 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you you already screenshotted me saying that I, I will commentate uh, PCB in Japanese in 2036, so... <laughs> wait, 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 this sounds familiar. <laughs> you, can, you can do the Japanese commentary for me when I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm worried that they might actually lower the timer for this game. Because they can claim that, hey, these guys are just practicing instead of doing runs. We don't really need <laughs> two hours for this, and they'll just drop it to 70 minutes. Guys, they both cleared in like one hour. That means anyone can do it. 
1.2. Anyone out of the two players who even play this game right now? For the the fu the fucking player base of size two. <laughs> I swear, I swear, to, I swear to God, it's good. This game's gonna have two active players for like the rest of the time, <laughs> for all eternity. Yeah, it's gonna be like a inherited, passed down tradition. You must play PCV until you turn thirty six. Hell yeah! And let's see if we can get the ninety. Here comes the funny. Oh, he did the thing. 73, 75, but no, this is not going to be 90. Ah, uh, 87. 87. The is still high. Not bad. Mm -hmm. It's still higher than you could possibly achieve without that strat. Yep. This normal Raymo B runs have one bomb enter stage 2, or is it also the same resource, right? No, it's the same. The old, old strat was to bomb twice before the mid boss, um, and then do like the later border timing on Letty's second spell. And then the newer strat is to time it at the same time, but not do that same exact uh, gray strat. And then that gray strat obviously is very difficult, but it's basically the same timing. I just realized we made a big mistake. We told SP0 to play, and we told him to play Marissa B, but we never told him to do runs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just no. Just practice till the end. Uh, it's it's like, fine, yeah. we, have, we have runs on the left side. Alright, that's that's true. Okay, well, how much is that? I couldn't see. Was it 38? Three, 387. It's still 387. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Eighty-seven into th thirty-eight. I can't do math. Is that thirteen plus thirty? Fifty-one. Eighty-seven. Actually, fifty-one. Oh my god. That's Guys, he got he that. got he got eighty-seven stage one, and then he got fifty-one stage two opener. I made a joke about this the other day that he was gonna get ninety-three stage one, and then fifty stage two opener, and he basically just did that. Uh, <laughs> green section. Green section is a very, very difficult, ladies and gentlemen. This is the guy who got like 112 stage five post mid boss graze, and he just got 51 on stage two opener. For stage two opener, I noticed they sometimes shift tap. Does that lose uh, cherry? It, no, not cherry plus PIV. It does. I mean, in theory, if you're bad at doing it unfocused, it could be a slightly better. Mm -hmm. But it's probably a loss in general. But it's a safety strat. It's uh, it's related to ch to cherry plus management, in my opinion. No, he's talking about during the border. I think. Yeah, right? during the border. Oh, oh. Like they're at the bottom Basically, of the screen and they like shift tap. Oh it's yeah. It's like yeah, to yeah. avoid making like a three frame tap to the side and then having bolts be way too far to graze. Yeah. But, um. I mean, you don't graze that many bullets during the few frames that you're holding shift. But it still does lose a bit. It's what we would call suboptimal. Burn a bomb. There we go. There's the a nifty visual cue for that. Bomb. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's, some, there's mm -hmm. a nifty visual cue for that. Essentially, like. Essentially, like you bomb whenever the um, uh, the very inner ring is about to kill you, and you're in the corner. Interesting. Yeah, that's the that's the timing that I learned anyway. There's someone in chat with the last four letters of their name, th07, claiming that they've been trying to score the game. Are we getting three people playing next year for TWC? I hope. Oh. Takes me hours to get past you, no. We've all been there. <laughs> you know, I've, I've, I've always kind of wanted to do commentary on my fucking uh, 2.5 run from three years ago, but never got around to it until like very, recent, very recently, so... That would be interesting. I don't know yeah. when the last time I watched my Rainbow B 2.5 was. 
I don't even know. That run might have been like 2017 or something. It was so long ago. Like, kind of crazy to think about. To be to be fair, I may have to. Oh, yeah. laser oh, brace sucks. Yep. The this is like I said, much more difficult than it looks. The uh, ten second spell. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. I just realized something. So bombing drops your PIV, but is it the same for all shots? No. no, it is different for all shots, and it's also different from all bombs. So, mm -hmm. Sakia B, for instance, her bombs um, drop it quite a bit, but the focus bomb drops the PIV by more than the unfocused bomb. Mm -hmm. And that has to be a real consideration later into the game, because near the end, um, the focus bomb can be worth quite a lot of raw score from Grace Cancel. Or sorry, raw score from item cancel based on the high grades that you have. Mm -hmm. But it also drops the PIV by quite a bit at that point. So since it's percentage. Uh, Reimu B has a pretty low bomb penalty for both bombs, so it's hardly relevant. Mm -hmm. uh, but Marissa B, I'm pretty sure Master Spark is like the highest. I think it drops like 40% or something ridiculous. So you almost never want to use that spell or that bomb. Mm -hmm. Did I notice he was using the unfocused bomb? But then when he was practicing stage 5, he used the focus bomb. And I'm like, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, that's probably a situation where he has to because that bomb lasts a long time. But. Cool gray is coming um, up. Mm -hmm. Definitely takes a lot of. dings your cherry by quite a bit. Although you get a lot back from the bomb cancel itself, I guess. In theory. Also. Little known fact, if you time out a boss attack, you lose, I think, like one third or one fourth of your PIV. It's like, it's like a third, yeah. Yeah. This can definitely happen on Yuko's first spell um, if you do focus bombs with Sakyu B. Trust me, uh, I know for sure that that can happen. I think but... that happened in last year's TWC run. Someone, it happened, I remember someone it happened in my PV. Oh, okay. But, um, and that was like a catastrophic loss. I think that was at least a hundred mil loss for that. But, yeah, you definitely don't want to have that happen near the end of the game. Even if it happens early in the game, it's pretty painful. SP0 says he doesn't have much time. Well, um, there's a reason. Yeah, he he's got, time. he's got seven minutes. Magical things can, out, can always happen. <laughs> Unless it means, like, IRL time. So we're at one failed spell? Or victory? Yep. One failed spell. Wait a minute. Th that doesn't look like Marisa. That's not Marisa. Did he okay, just click on extra? Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, he was with... He does the t does the shot type matter for the table that he watched? Because he watched a Sakya B shot type table. I don't think so. Oh, that's kind of a funny optimization that Ictorine did there. Saving one fairy till after the power cancel just to get like three more point items. Okay, perfect. He item item table is RG. Got it. Is it affected in USD? No. That's what I was thinking, it's the same thing. So I can watch like okay. a Rainway replay and then go use a different shot type. Yeah, I feel like I've seen people do that with Rainway replay, Rainway B gameplay. Okay, let's see how much they get. So they have 605. Wow. 9k. That's very, 9K. That's very good, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. You pretty much either get 11k if it's like frame perfect, or 9k if you did it right, or like a lot less if you were slightly off. Last run failed it, so it's nice that he pulled it off this time. No, um, last run yeah. didn't fail it, sorry. Last run got it, but we missed it. And then he died on spell 2, so he skipped the non-3-1. Yep. Um, what was I about to say? Shit. Um, yeah, I, th I think, I think the, um, uh, I think the highest I've seen on on that race was for oh, 
14,000. Unfortunate. Like, yeah, that's that's 14. Yeah. yeah, I think I remember seeing some like Yusuke tweet where he got a ridiculous amount on it. I'm sure I, it's like one frame that hits just the right amount of bullets, and yeah, also I, he came in from an angle that cancels out the least amount of bullets or something, but I, it I is think, possible. It is uh, it is much easier with uh, Sakya B because I've gotten 14k a couple of times, and you know I've, se I've seen I've seen streams of Karen getting. I saw a stream where he got like 14,000 on it. Yeah, it's a little easier with Saki B. Man, SPO's gonna go out five minutes till the end of the match with Mar Marissa B. You might as well just do an LNN here. Yeah, me as well. You know what? Going back to the chats, talk shit. <laughs> you should, you should, uh, you should do a fucking. Uh... I'm mean, gonna tell him to do an LNN and power cancel stage six. Yeah, <laughs> he's disgusting. No, he should, he as should, it he is. should do a. He should do a. Um, uh, he should do a power cancel. He should do a no. He should do a no bomb, no border break route. Uh, <laughs> run scoring All right. route. All right, suicide. Right, here six five seven six oh ten k. Damn, nice. that's very high. I'm not sure how difficult it is compared to a non one, but it's pretty high. Yeah, it's it's easier. I can confirm it's easier. I think it's easier to get that amount, but it's harder to get like a ridiculous amount. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. it's more consistent to be just about 10k. All right, we've got frost columns on the right. He's playing yeah, super safe. frost columns. This is gonna be like 8k. This is this is gonna be like 7k. That's just embarrassing. Okay. SPO, I think he's I think he's trying to troll me in this game. I mean he did that twice today. I don't know what's going on there. He chose to go to the character select screen and choose Marissa B. I oh mean my. he must be trolling me. I mean they, they I mean they they've been trolling me all day with uh <laughs> with like spending half the match uh, in practice mode and uh That's true. And and all that. Not not playing the game. Oh, that's that unfortunate. That he hurts. might be okay here if he can activate this border and then he's probably just gonna have to grab a bunch of the small P items before full powering here and then not power canceling anything. Oh my god, he didn't have enough. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he, he like went straight for the big P and uh. I thought he was going to go for the small ones and then just make up the difference with unfocused shooting. To he's avoid over... us by letting us know that he's reached stage 4 in chat. We're not there yet. Can <laughs> you type it in? I didn't even see it. 700k. So if we have two different shot types, I just want to confirm, is the grace box the same for everyone? I no. believe it is the same for Marissa and Raymu. It is definitely larger for Sakia. I'm pretty sure Marisa has a smaller grace box. I think it's smaller than Raymu. Really? Yeah, Wait, smaller than Raymu. Character select screens where they have their quirks. Marisa has a smaller grace box. I, remember I see. Hmm. Wow. I also think uh, Raymu has a smaller hitbox, and Sakia and Marisa yes. have the same. Hmm. So that basically means Marissa's even worse than you think she is. Yeah, she has a bigger hitbox and a smaller grace box. And faster on focus speed, which makes it tougher to control. Okay. But the cherry plus gain is massive on Ra uh, for Marissa A. That's yeah. why the task Marissa plays Marissa A. Not so much. Yeah, Mercy B kind of is like the worst yeah. shot in the game. That, that break was bad. Is it even yeah, worse than uh, bad, Sakya A? I mean, Sakya A is probably the worst shot in the game. She's terrible. But depending on how well you can control the Marissa speed, they're kind of neck and neck. 
Or I should say it's more like a preference thing at that point. We missed the countdown, but yes, we're at final run. We got a stage two entry and a stage four run going. So fifty. Yeah, we got a stage 57. two. Fifty-seven k stage two run with Marissa B. This looks like a winner right here. I don't know how skewed the rubrics are for Marissa B, but um, yeah, that's about all I can say. It's been two hours. I forgot the rubric. Okay, so let's see. 57. Hopefully it will reach 41. Not 41. Um, the first two digits will be 4 and 1. 4, 1, 1. Nice. 4, 1, 2. 4, 1, 2. There we go. Well, we have a scary dodge here again. Looks safe this time. Their pre Lily part. The fuck is yeah. this route, dude? <laughs> Looks like they're Which in the window. Oh, no, that's pretty normal. Ictorin's, 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 uh, Ictorin's mixed route. Like, I, I, I always don't do it that way, but I've seen that before. Okay. Like, usually what I do is I, like, descend way down before going back into the uh, field. Oh, he broke it this time. Yeah, an intentional border break there. I guess he's playing it safe since this is his last run. Now he's gonna I, do the uh, I don't, I don't know if it was. Thing. I don't last know if it was. Last time he did not break it. I don't know if it was. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. kind of like it high risk, high reward thing. It could have been a mistake, and then he just used. Oh, that and okay, he got it for shooting. Oh my yeah, God. that's uh, that's a loss of fifteen thousand, but. It could have been way worse if that didn't activate from yeah. shooting. Yeah, he, he lost 15,000, but um, it could have been way worse, yeah. At he least tapped into, one million. He, tap, he tapped into a bullet. That's why it looked unintentional. Because, mm. like, it, when you're breaking borders, you're you're pressing X. You're, you're like, never ramming a bullet because there's a, there's a small probability that you just go straight through, through it. I feel like sometimes people do intentionally tap a bullet. I used to do that for a long time, and then I failed to cancel the border on a stage four opener once, and yep. pressed yeah, X that's ever classic. since. That's the classic. That's the classic. That's classic. There are like a million bullets on the screen, but somehow you can actually just slide right through them all. You don't remember the bomb timings? Oh no. Like, like every single TRS, there's at least one lock shot dodge. <laughs> yeah. Check a replay. Live during PWC, checking a replay and how they do the last <laughs> That's why I upload uh, that's why I upload runs to YouTube. Alright, let's see here. 103. I forgot what they had last time. Broke it early, so it was intentional to break it, but they just broke it early. Well the quote I broke it early is still ambiguous. It could be that they accidentally broke it, and it happened early. I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah, that that's what makes it ambiguous. Yeah, broke it early probably means it was supposed to break it later. Yeah. That's what it usually means. Either, either, either he was supposed to break it later, or he wanted to, like, actually time it down. The longer SP0 has game paused, the longer the stream will go. Yeah, literally, he's gonna time us out for another hour. It's like oh boy, 2 it's a.m. Yeah. It's like 3 a.m. I need to go to sleep. I'm watching a fucking pause screen. <laughs> uh, God. <laughs> this this match, dude. This match. Why why is like to be to be I fair, he's to be out of play. <laughs> to be He's fair, <laughs> God damn it! To be fair, P PCB lunatic, lunatic scoring's always been really cursed each year, but um, this is like a new level. Yeah, this is the least curse it's been for me. Started at 7 p.m. It's at 9 p.m. right now. I can go for another <laughs> five hours. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm I'm fine because like right after the UFO match, I left for seven hours. So, yeah, I'm I'm fine, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's st it's still Degen hours, and you know, I'm I'm just talking about the match in general. It's been a bit of a hellscape to commentate this. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, it's a yeah, fun hellscape, been right? A little rough for me. So we're going to be seeing the... Oh wait, no. Is this non-2 or non-1? Okay, perfect. So we're going to see the Grace now. Yeah, let's see if he does the epic strat. Nice. Oh, he didn't go to the right, but that's still cool. <laughs> I think going to the right there is ridiculously inconsistent. Is like, that, nobody does that. It's luck-based, right? The location of the notes? Um... It's, yeah, the smaller notes that surround the sisters, they're, mm -hmm. they kind of float around in a circle. And so you have to be really careful for those. It's kind of hard to avoid them at all. It's hard to see Yus them, kind of. Yusuke always goes for it. Yeah, I mean... It's like, is there a possibility that it's like static but difficult to um, decipher? Um, I think it's random, but it's reactable. It's just that it's worth a lot, and his PBs that he's playing against are very high, so I think it's worth going for. Yeah, I guess. I can never figure out. I don't out think the there's timing. any predictability. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the next spell, we can get the border without ending the spell at the same time. Oh man, SPO is going into stage 3 with less than 500k. Tough. That's, that's just surreal, man. I blame the smaller <laughs> hitbox. The smaller grace box. This shot type sucks. Terrible. Anyways, this endorfer. Pretty standard this endorfer. Yeah, let's see if he does something cool on the border. Yeah, he's, I mean, I think he's playing this one consistently after that Lily border break. Yeah, he's he's stall he's stalling it by the way because uh, it get dem it's get it gets denser and denser over time. Oh, mm. oh, nice. uh, that's cool. He did the thing at the end of the border. Kirin needs uh, 3.2 to reclaim first. Meanwhile, if FP0 wants to update his score, oh. it's 3.07. Wait, was that an intentional death from SPO? I wasn't watching. I missed the resource count. Oh, that was before the mid boss? Never mind, that was definitely yeah. not intentional. Oh, no. Yeah, that is, that is a very bad death. You right. do not I don't even want to watch this. Marissa B bullshit, I'm just gonna watch the left side of the screen. <laughs> Will we finally see a cap of the spell? I hope so. But you know, I as per usual, I am a I'm a Prism's anti fan for a reason. The spell sucks. Uh, yeah, there, there he goes. There he both, goes. Both people died at the same time. Left and right side died. <laughs> yeah, Spo to Bunraku. Did he, did he die to the bug or? I missed what? it. I just heard the death sound and I looked at both sides are dead. Yeah, I was watching Nectarine. This, uh. 
themselves tough. Both of them. Mainly, uh, what is that one? Concerto? Concerto Grosso or something? I barely oh remember God. the spell names in this game, but... That, I would still say, is like a top four LNN blocker. You're, you're telling me your PB pace into stage five with this run? Really? Wow. I don't remember <laughs> your score either. I wasn't even looking at it, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, let me just check all those replays that were never posted or sent to me. And determine if this is your PB into stage 5. <laughs> uh, I love the banter. <laughs> I don't know if he's even listening. I actually don't think he is. This I don't know if he's even playing. <laughs> so we don't see a suicide on this. Uh, oh, is yeah, it just I think, one? I think oh, he lost two spells already, so he's not going to be able to do that um, okay. other strat. But he'll basically power cancel and then bomb the spam section. Maybe? Yeah, I think that's what he's going to do. Yeah, that that's the that's the backup that he died on on his like previous run. It's like the standard three million strat. Yeah. Yeah, po power cancel into he didn't activate. That's good enough timing. I don't think he great anything. That is advising F zero to stall for three hundred and sixty five days, so that we can have the timer reset. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, someone's gonna pause this game for a year. I've probably had like a year of AFK time on my score file. I have. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna say I had like two or three hundred hours of AFK online. Which is what, 10 days, 15 days? See if I can check. Nice I can't, think, I can't believe that, I, that I've AFK'd for two weeks straight, man. Hours of AFK time. Wow. Yeah. I feel like I should pull up the VOD and see what his score was, because I feel like this pace is good. So it could PB. Most yeah, likely. I think uh I think this pace is like down two spells. And he can still clear with Evan, I guess. As long as he doesn't do any other mistakes. Big mistakes. All right, fun, fun grace time. Eighty and sixty. I feel like eighty-one k on that. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, how difficult is sixth border with that uh, with that focus bomb? By the way. The focus bomb makes it easier, but f it just gives him slightly more cherry plus going into this stage. Or into this boss, but he has 42 here. I think he's maybe a little bit low. Also, like I was saying before, I thought you had to have two bombs for Yomu to do it, but last time yep. he didn't have two bombs, but he also broke a couple borders, so... At this point, I yeah, think no. I just forgot the route. Yeah, the the two the two border Yomu is like the old route for six border. And the still three. Oh, you mean two, two border Yomu? Two bomb Yomu. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, oh my god! What the hell was that? <laughs> he, he he tried he tried the fucking super iframes late iframe again, but attempt. yeah, he he tried the iframes again, but he just started moving too late. Oh, that's rough. 
Dying to this pattern is not a good situation. SPO says, I don't even think I have enough SCV to continue the run. You should, um... Power Play cancel the game. spam. L and N the rest of the game, power cancel spam. <laughs> that would be epic. Let's see. He, he, he's at max <laughs> power, dude. <laughs> Alright, one death, power cancel spam. <laughs> 4K Resurrection Butterfly. We would all love to see it. <laughs> oh, we sell this. Victorine survived the border. On oh, wow. Yes. Why do you only have 38k C plus? Um, we haven't seen that yet. And now we see it, and we're like, wait, what's going on? Oh, dear. Oh. Yeah, that looks rough. Yeah, he, he like dropped all of the items there. You can shoot for items with the shot? What do you mean by that? No, he can't. He, he says, oh, he can't. Oh, I think he's saying uh, he shooting it. during the border to get some items out of the enemies. Yeah. I think if he does it with this shot, the uh, penetrating Where? shot will kill some enemies he doesn't want to kill. Yeah. And I forgot everything. Oh, I'm lucky. Maybe you should show Sakuvi. I promise I did not rate this match. Just because Ictorine is on the same team as me, I did not tell SP0 to play a batch of type to waste time so that we have a chance of a comeback. Definitely not calculated. Dude, you'd, you'd have to you'd have to plead with uh, with PCB players to not waste time. <laughs> PCB players when they got a time down you go non four. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's continuing right now. Um, for the record, I, I am a PCB player myself, so I am allowed to roast other PCB players. What's the definition of a PCB player? Do, am I a PCB player? Mm, probably. Nice. Stream guy? Let's see here. Stream looks okay. Yeah. It's uh it's still fine on my end. Mm -hmm. I have the actual Twitch page up on monitor two. The Twitch page up on my phone. Alright, let's see here. So that's Yeah, I hit on my right. phone at one point. I'm assuming he's just gonna shoot and then end the spell to get the border at the same time. Yeah, I don't think I think he needs like a solid thirty to get the border during the spell. His previous run had two point zero five billion at Yuko, and right now he's at one point eight already. So I think this is PB pace. Yeah, I think so. He's down. He's down. Well, I would say he's yeah, down one point four six. Like, yeah, he's, bombs, right? he's, yeah, I'd say he's down the life. But he's not going to suicide, so well, I think we're good. Yeah, he can use the bomb. Probably. Mm, that's a that's a scary gap right there. Mm -hmm. This is free. But but you picked a bad gap, but uh, went through it anyway. There's no scary. Escape. He's up a left. Are you sure he has five right now. He's going to end with seven. So and he ended yeah, with seven so previously. Yeah, assuming assuming yeah, he doesn't gonna, assuming he doesn't suicide, he should be. Cool. He'll end with seven if he doesn't suicide. Not sure he should bomb or suicide stage six pam. Is it time for chat to help him out, <laughs> or commentators to decide what route he should use? I mean, there's some amount of 
cherry plus you need to do the bomb strat. Some amount of cherry plus and some amount of spell cards captured to do the bomb strat. But I do not know the numbers. I also Perhaps forget how the many... only person who knows the numbers is SPO and he's busy. Keeping busy with fucking Marissa B. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's debatable if he's busy or not. He'd probably unpause. He'd probably pause the game to go tell his opponent what to do in this situation. We can jump into the JP chat if that's his game, because he's around there. I don't know if he even knows that strat. He hasn't played at Rainbow B for so long. I think SPO created that strat. I mean, how even, even, even worse, like, um, fucking, last, last time you played Rainbow B was in preparation for one of the TWCs, I think it was 2022. It was, it was the year where he, where he, like, choked a 3.7 run to RB. Oh, shit. So, like, I, th I think that time, he just, um, my my point is it's it's not a strat that he would really be that would be beneficial ben, benefic, beneficial for him to to learn. Yeah, it's all or nothing at that point. I've never seen this non spell in my life. What is this? <laughs> the Marissa non spell. This is actually probably the hardest uh, first prison ever non. Is it? I think that's low rank. If it's higher rank, then it's uh, more difficult. Basically, one of the two waves like reverses, and then they kind of overlap in a bad way. But it's, it's if it's max rank, it's really hard. Oh, I was also the Merlin's long spell with the others, but I never learned it since I never played Sapir. So maybe I'm wrong. Well, yeah, Merlin's second non is hard if you don't know the strat, but it's really easy if you do. Although timing it down is pretty hard. All right, we're back to stage six. Uh, yeah, what's he gonna so do? I wasn't reading the chat. Point to the suicide. Suicide, it is okay. Boo! Just kidding. We want to see a success here. Yeah, because like if you do, if you don't get the border, you drop a trillion items and uh... nice. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. He, he activated by he activated by shooting. Yeah. So it's always really scary when canceled. that happens. I think he power canceled too early. Thank you. I feel like we should just get him in a call right now so he can commentate us. Right? <laughs> That's basically what he's doing in chat right now. Yeah. I think we need to impose a pause timer for uh, Future TWC final rounds. You can pause all you want until the final run timer comes up, but then you got like 10 minutes of pause. Actually, it should be like 2 minutes of pause. I don't know why I would say 10 minutes. Yeah. Should we do per pause, or should we do like this this many minutes for pausing in general, if you get what I mean? Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the oh, right, so These guys I'm... are going to pause after every spell. I'm not really sure how you would accurately um, accurately measure that, though. Yeah. You just gotta say that it's a rule to scare people into not pausing. And then put, like, a fake timer. So we need to see 2.19 enter the boss for this to be... No, he's down to life, but... I'm trying to see if yeah. we can actually get first place. He can always graze better on you, Yuko. Wait, he failed, um... He failed... He failed... Modified the illusion? Third spell? Yeah. Yeah, second spell. No, right, wait. We have a chance. It was the third spell, right? I think it was second... Failed the failed second spell. Oh, okay, yeah. then yeah. Somebody failed in one of each. for the grace. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> yeah. uh, that, that is, is very unfortunate. So this is going to be a 
five four clear if he doesn't make any more mistakes. Yeah. PB is looking. That's like a twenty four mil loss. Yeah, PB is looking pretty unlikely at this point. Uh SP zero one for the Grays, but rammed the bullet. Yeah. Really, really unfortunate final runs here. It's just PCB in general. General always wants to kill you. Yeah. Yeah, this game sucks. Wow. Just kidding. It's my favorite video game ever made. I liked PCB. Liked? What did it do to you? I like. <laughs> I, heard the I heard liked something like, oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Until that one incident. To be fair, I stumble on my words all the time, so. Oh wait, will we see hey. that? On the other nope, we are zero out of four. No one is Oh guessed. my god. <laughs> it's an impossible spell. Yes. Impossible, impossible spell. Guys, I'm telling you, you can power cancel spam all you want, but this one is or this spell is gonna stop L and M runs. Yep. Also, you shouldn't power cancel spam for LNN. That's lame. It's like it's like worth it with one shot type, arguably. Yeah, I mean, it's just boring. I'm normally one for saying do whatever is necessary to uh, optimize your survival run to make it easier, but power canceling spam is just so painfully boring that I don't think it's worth it. Power cancel spam is like more, even more dangerous than uh, than like doing it normally, even because you because you're All down right. on power. SP zero done for the whole game. He's done. All right, GG. Um, 3.1 rainbow A. SPO, congrats on the 3.1. Congrats on the 3.2 world record recently. Still waiting for the uh, 3.0 with Sakyu A. Also waiting for the Sakyu B world record. If you could do that any day now, that would be nice. But, um, <laughs> also, like, unironically, yes, I I am also waiting for awaiting the uh, rebuild with Sakya A. <laughs> the fans want it. I I am SB Zero fan and I want Sakya B Sakya A to be a bill. If SPO has zero fans, um I, I, for what it's I, I mean <laughs> I I I I only, I only want Sakya B three build for myself, but I want Sakya A three uh, build from Spo. Well, yeah, I would never bother playing that shot type. It's horrible. I'm gonna play for two point five, but that's about oh, it. Straight bully him for the ten k frost goals. For zero ten k frost goals. <laughs> yeah, that was uh. It was a little bit hard to watch. Gotta say it. Saw two 17s today. I mean, come on. Was this amateur hour? It's a. Uh, it's. It's a. Um, it's TWC after hours. So I'm. Uh, you know, we are we are coming into the most haunted of the um, uh, of the the times of day right now mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. like uh, uh, my, mm -hmm. my 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 guess is that the, the players just um just kind of their pcs got haunted just it, just PCs ignore the fact haunted. that just wait it, guys both of these players are in like prime time to be playing this game right now yep it's i mean it's, just, it's like yeah, exactly. Okay, so hopefully they'll be at 2.5 after the spell? Is that possible? Or no? It's not possible. Um, maybe. Yeah. Wait, 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 I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Probably 2.4 or 3. 
Yeah. I can't do I that. I was hoping to see more from that mortar bonus. But he's at 1.6. But I would say like a solid 2.46 or something. Pretty, pretty unorthodox butterfly illusion route, I would say. Yeah, he's been doing this thing where he goes to the opposite side sometimes. Supposedly it's worth more grays. 97? That's great. 2.47? Yeah, nice. Great. So we are... Uh, we're more than 100 million ahead from before, but we're down two lives. So, plus 40 Two million. lives, 60. The good news is it's still PvP. It would be nice to see a 3.2. Mm -hmm. What does he need for uh, first place here? 3.198? No, 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 that's his score. 3.24. 3.24, okay. Yeah, he needs... He that's going to be close. It. Yeah, it's going to be close. He also has to play, like, perfectly. Nothing a 4.2k resurrection butterfly can't fix. Very true. Definitely enough to get 3.2, because they're ahead of PB. Yeah, I think that'll PB be... PB had seven lives at clear, and they're going to have fives. But they have more bombs. Hmm. Right. How many bombs? They have four bombs four. now. I think they had two last time, right? Okay, so like, four. um, 48 mil difference? And they're over 100 ahead, so it's definitely 3.2. Actually, wait. Hold on. If let's say they're 100 head and we subtract it, they're probably plus 50 right now, and that would probably right more. at the <laughs> right at the cutoff. Well, I think we just... saw 3.4k resolution butterfly last time, but I don't want to get ahead of myself here. This could be uh, spell five is still hard. Nice. Yeah. 110. 100, 110. That's yeah, more than last time. It's because, it's because of the extra um, cherry that he got from not yep. fucking up the border, I think. Just remember that stage 4, he missed partially part of the red greys post mid boss. Yeah. So this could have been higher. Yeah, it could have been. I fucking hate Zumizome with a burning passion. I mean, look, look at this, it's just vomit. It does kind of suck, but it sucks even more with Saki and me. Oh yeah. Also, ha also has to, also has to, like this guy's end it at, He needs to, he needs to end it at the at the beginning of the pattern to get a the proper cancel for the for the post border. He's spoiling us by typing in chat before the spell card's capped. Does he go for a cap or does he go for a four K? I, I want to see. Four K, but at the same time, we need the win for Team Star. No, no bias at all from the commentators, but he has commentary muted. Commentary muted? What the hell? I mean, if you're watching the stream right now and you're not listening to the commentary, what are you doing? You're just looking at a pause screen. I guess he's playing the game in theory, but, you know... Theoretically playing the game. Uh, by the way, does does pausing the game increment the the in game play time still? Uh, uh, I don't know actually. I'm actually wondering that too. I don't remember. I think it, I think it does. Yes, it's your turn. It's time. I, We're king. I I probably tested it at some point a long time ago. I probably did too, but like three years ago. More than more. Yeah. I mean, if you only have a thousand AFK hours, so maybe Dude, it I is not increasing the in game time. I fucking swear to God, if this uh, if this fucker like throws <laughs> throws just to get a 4K, 
You know, the first wave. Or the first wave. Yep, my. there you go. Oh, See what I mean? See what I mean? <laughs> See what I fucking oh mean? But he can still PB, apparently. Alright. That hurts. I mean, that's like minus 100 mil. It's like minus 130 mil. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was scary. Hell I knew he was going to be mistiming it, but he recognized the timing there. This, this match has been ab absolute hell, I swear. <laughs> it's been quite a funny match. Why is the sound not synced? I've been wondering that for a while now. Yeah, the sound, when he graces the blue waves, you don't hear anything. Oh. <laughs> it's the, it's probably the voices in our heads. Oh. It's always the voices in our heads. The borders in our heads. Oh. Yeah. Uh, can I still PB? I think so. Uh, I'm gonna so. say yes. Oh no. my god, I <laughs> so Throwing for content. I was gonna say like 3.21. Throwing for content. Jesus well, fucking Christ. That was fucking exactly, Christ, exactly 2700 Resurrection Butterfly. Tough. But good game. If it wasn't for that, it was so close to... Maybe we win. Close to PB and close to. Uh -huh. um, guys, I can see the ending. Oh, there we go. Nice. You, you, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, Is that Letty final? <laughs> yeah, that's the Letty final. Rem yeah. Rem remember last year when when Yusuke died for one extra grace in stage five? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the, this, I this, is, this is this is the this is this year's equivalent. It's all your fault, kind of, says SPO. Well, he might be right. Well, I mean, I did if make you, him play If you look at that game. picture right there, he <laughs> might be right. Yep. So can we get any of the players in chat right now? No, in chat right now. Can we get any of the players in call right now? So we can hear your opinion on the match. Guys, you do not want to play on easy mode. That is the most boring sca scoring category ever. Normal, 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 normal. Actually, you're right. Normal is actually worse. Easy mode has a couple cool grazes that normal does not. But easy can still I sucks. I remember trying easy mode once uh, for an event on TRC. I got yeah, I think for a couple of days that I just quit. <laughs> there was an event that we all played it in once and. Uh, I think I got like a solid run, but I failed the uh, Yuko first or third spell, which is the big one on easy mode because you can go inside the explosion, and that was yeah. just like a 200 mil loss or something ridiculous. Like okay, never but playing it, that it, again. It was just it was just too boring to practice. Yeah, it's like I boring just, for I, I 45 minutes it. and then you fail something and lose 200 mil and that's the whole run. Yeah. But trust me, guys, PCV Lunatic scoring, very fun category. Despite what you might have just seen in this match, you should all definitely try it, and you should go for 2.5 billion, and you should go for 3 billion. And you should not go for PCB LNN. If you're thinking about PCB LNN, you should just give up because it's going to be boring and you're going to hate it. And you should play for score instead. If we're currently waiting for um, the what? players to join us in the we're waiting. We're waiting for them to like join NEVC. We're waiting for um, them to kind of get help to join VC. Because, anyways, uh, do we talk about who won the match? Because apparently that's important for DWC. Uh, um, nope, next, ma forgot. next match, we, ha next match we have. Next match we have. We have Peace <laughs> Lunatic Scoring again with uh, X Ray Dover to spell. Guys. Okay. I really don't remember who even won the game. Yes, 
in this okay. Spell. Congrats to SPO. Another W for SPO. I think that's like three or four in a row. Um, uh, I, he lost to Yusuke in 2022, I think. Did he? Okay. Yeah. I think that's like three total, though, at least. That's pretty good. The king of consistency in this game. Um, what else can be said? Victorine could be a new up and coming killer in this game, though. If he ever would play runs. We finally have music. Finally. This is at 8 a.m. for me. Is it? Yeah, 8 a.m. I guess I can make it. Yay, it's gonna be fun. GMT plus 9, what is that, Japan? Yep, no. that is. <laughs> So this is the match where people always time out the final spell, right? Wait, really? I think so. Like, there's always Why one would who you... times out the final there's, spell. There's, all, there's always one who attempts it. Oh, you're saying, yeah, for fun. Yeah, 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 okay. I do know what you're talking about, but I thought you were saying intentionally. For strategy reasons. Mm -hmm. All right, we finally have someone here. Hello. Oh, Ictorine is here. Congratulations on the PB. What do you have to say about your multiple 22,000 frost columns today? Uh, better than expected. I was really, really hoping it would not get a 19k, and I'm glad that did not happen. Nice. You know, in my heart, you were the winner for that one, because SPO got, like, 17k twice. Oh, one of them was with Marissa, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> One of them was with Marissa, I guess I can yeah, let that that's, slide. Yeah, that's true. But one was with Raymu for sure. Bro. Yeah. I thought that even if he played safe, he would still get like 8k almost every single time, but guess he got unlucky. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, right. You but anyway. My username. I never changed my username. It's so funny. What do you think that uh, your pace was at there if you didn't fail Resurrection Butterfly in that last minute, uh, last run? Sorry. Hmm. Wait, you have a moment to change my nickname, but uh, according to SP0, it was 3.3 pace, so mm -hmm. yeah, oh, really? huge PB, but again, I don't consider this to be throwing because there's a good chance it would have failed it anyways. I mean, you'll get through. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's not a super consistent strategy, but it was a good try. Mm -hmm. Hate to see that that's the spell being failed, but it happens yeah. to the best of us. I guess I'll see if we get a 4.2k in practice mode before the run. So yeah, at least I showcase. Uh, we did see the 4.2, that was very impressive. I called it out too. But, um,. Maybe one day we'll see one in a run? Or are you never going to play runs again after this? <laughs> no, I'm going to do runs, just not that frequently. I may, I will probably resume, like, end of, or maybe we'll resume end of this year. Uh, definitely resume again next year, because I'm probably going to be playing again. Nice. Please make sure to do runs on stream, so we have more content. And we can bring watch new players to play as well. At least upload replays. Well, I hope my runs show that you do not need to get a clean run to get a good score in this game. I think the common misconception in this game is that you you are not allowed to make mistakes, but that's absolutely false. It's it's only like some specific mistakes you cannot make. Everywhere else, you can. It's pretty much fair game. It's a score loss, but it can always continue. Yeah. I mean, even if you make big mistakes in this game, you know, there are some players out there who have, you know, lost three or four hundred million in their stage six and still PB'd, so... Not gonna name any names, but... but the 3.1 was uh, pretty much that. I lost 200 million in stage six. And yeah. still PB'd by 400 million. PB'd by 400 million. This implies that you had a score below 3.1. That means you had yes. 2.7. Yes, I did. I thought I you had oh, 2.7. I wonder where that number came from. I thought I showed that on the, <laughs> on the, on the, on the uh, results screen. Oh, I must have missed it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'll go check that <laughs> later. So he's been hiding runs. Interesting. Still still waiting to I'll see that. Only for like two weeks, though. Oh, no, right. I'm not releasing that. 
I explained why. Uh, I put up a, 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 mes a message on yeah, Twitter that explains why. Is that the secret encrypted replay oh, that nobody yes. will ever see? Yes. Well, actually, one of the 2.7s, I straight up didn't save a replay because I was just disappointed. Mm. So now I have one question. You did promise that after you finish the TWC match, you'll go and get the most messed up 500 million run in USD. Is that still on the table? Yes. Yay. I, I once thought the same and then I never did it. It's not Are worth you it. Practicing stage five? So do we only have yeah. one match next week? We haven't actually talked about what's being shown here. We really should mention so it. Good point. Point. So we have uh, a match. Mount of Faith, yeah. LNB. Basically, right. don't fail stage six. Don't fail that one funny Aya spell. Is that Peerless Wing God? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. That spell kind of sucks, but and then part of the game. Final spell of the phone boss with the funny lasers. Gotta watch out for that. Yeah, that one is also pretty funny. Did it? So I was just entering the uh, qualifiers. I forgot which ones. For Mount of Faith. Yeah. Probably possible. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to sign off for the evening right. because it is pretty late oh, over here. Late, yeah. yeah, it is. It is, it is late. Early. It is late for many of us. Um, it's it's a good it's yeah. a good thing that I have a super cursed sleep schedule, so I'm fine. The rest of you probably not. Good university yeah, moment. Yeah. Um, I have a job. I cannot like sleep at six a.m. anymore. Very uh, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, unfortunate. Um, You're gonna have to get sunglasses or something now. Dude, real. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, congratulations to both players. Um, yeah, good runs from all. Goodbye. Um, yeah. See ya. Um, but bye, sweet. Good night. See ya. Uh, as for the, as for the rest of us, um, that's that's enough for. That's enough for, for one night. Mm -hmm. Thanks for letting me join randomly. Uh, maybe maybe we should have pinged you much earlier, but it I was is what the start, it is. When the stream started, I'm like, there's only two people. What's going on? Then yeah. I saw the ping. Yeah. Well, anyways, this match is in, what, 10 hours? So, yep. everyone, go get some sleep. And uh, we'll... See you all. We'll see you all, yeah. Alright, bye guys. Bye.